everyone, and welcome back to The Gauntlet, audience interactive Dungeons and Dragons combat chaos where our adventurers are continuing through their never-ending quest to defeat every monster of the multiverse. Happy Friday, everyone. I am your Gauntlet Master, Emmy. Returning with us tonight, the Gauntleteers are Scott as Stonebreaker. Good evening, everyone. It has been so long. We have Carrie as Charlie. Hey, everybody. I was watching the stands last week. I think it's going to be a rough ride ahead. <laughs> we have Ben as Fion. Hoi there. Let's dance. And we have Josh as well. <clears throat> Howdy, folks. Let justice be merciful tonight. <laughs> I hope you're all having an absolutely lovely time zone. Wherever you are, real quick, I want to say hey howdy to some of the amazing folks who are here. First, a big thank you to Dragon Dad 88 and Jeff for resubscribing. In kind of a funky palindrome, Dragon Dad for 32 months, Jeff for 23 months. Oh, Both of you <laughs> pull awesome. up a chair. We're so happy to have you here in the tavern. Back to back chairs. So, yeah. <laughs> so good to f see you fine human beings. We have Lister's Mate, Zagmeister, Annabal. We have Witch King One of Nine, Spoonkins, Dragon Dad 88, Jeff. We have Omega Scales. We have some amazing human beings here so far tonight. Uh, we don't have any particular announcements, I don't believe, this particular evening, other than welcome to July. We're so excited to have you here on the other side. Um, <laughs> Second half of the year? Oh, uh, Omega yeah. Scales, thank you so much for subscribing on Stream Loots. That's hey. a whole year. You can oh, do that. Shiny gold badge, you can do <clears> that. I you know. Wait, gold what? A little gold badge, like it's a little, oh, little that's Stream so Loots cute. element. You subscribe on Stream Loots. You can, in fact, subscribe on Stream Loots. We appreciate it. We also got a nicer cut there, so I'm just <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if you want, if you want to be able to play, if you want to be able to play fun emotes on stream and things like that, it's fun and it's nice. I wonder if we can do more with those emotes. Like, I, I wonder if we can do our own custom stuff. <gasps> I don't know. I don't know. I actually don't know. We, we don't know. We should look into this. We should, into this. We should also ask streamers. <laughs> Yo, at streamy stream on platforms. <laughs> <laughs> We're together to be great enough. tonight. Uh, I think, though, that brings us to the big thing we have this week, which is the returning message from our sponsor of season two of The Gauntlet. That's right, everyone. It's Cantrip Candles. Yeah. Scott, please take us away. All right. When last we met our adventurers from a uh, intermission, <laughs> we'd been traversing through the jungles after coming off of the, uh, the shipwreck and you found yourself in front of uh, a seedy looking tavern after being lost in the woods. Deciding to go in to see if you can't find somebody to help you on your journey, you step past the body that had been flung out of the window. They appear to be moving. <laughs> you push open the door and immediately you are hit by the sound of a rowdy enjoyment from the inside. And shortly thereafter, you are met with a sudden silence as every head in the, t the inn turns to you. You see a motley crew of vagabonds, vagrants, other words starting with B. <laughs> <laughs> but the sound suddenly comes back. You head up to the bar and order a drink, looking around for someone who might be able to help you out. Upon asking around, suddenly you spot a uh, rather plump looking gentleman, an eye patch and a sailor's cap, a pipe, and a peg leg. Might not be great for going through the jungle, but he approaches you and he says, well, hello there. Now, if you're looking for someone to help get you through this jungle. Let me be your guide. Be happy to help. But just at that moment, a rather large half-orc woman nussles up to the other side of the bar and says, Now, I don't know much about this jungle, but I do know a thing about splitting skulls. You need protection. I'm the one for you. Who do you decide to bring on as your companion? The peg-legged sailor who seems to know his way around this jungle, 
or this large, strong half-orc bruiser. In the meantime, while this poll is up in the chat, today's story was brought to you by Cantrip Candles and the set, Scent Den of Thieves. Poll is up. Ooh. Cantrip Candles are candles with a story. They are soy candles made here in Los Angeles. Each one of them is scented for a different environment to help bring your tabletop games to life and just bring a wonderful scent to your home as well. They've just released a brand new scent, Jungles of McCall. Uh, so you should go check them out at cantripcandles.com and be sure to stick around to the intermission for your chance to win a $15 gift card. This is an international giveaway anyone can win. You just have to be here, be your awesome self, and be here at the intermission. And thank you again to the continuing sponsor of season two of The Gauntlet, Cantrip Candles. It's tied right now. We need people. There we go. There we go. Now it's not tied. <laughs> <laughs> keep going. Keep going. Keep voting. Keep voting. Vote. It's important. In general, yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and also right now. We need protection. So. Ooh. Ooh. Mommy. <laughs> Wrong show. Mommy doesn't start with me. The half orc woman gives you a firm f uh, forearm handshake, says, You won't regret this. Come, let's go. The two of you leave and head down the trail deeper into the jungle, following your magical compass. Come by next week to find out where you're going and oh what is in this jungle that you might need protection from. Oh. Amazing! <gasps> ah! Ah! Thank you so much. Oh and again, <laughs> please do go check out some cantrip candles. They're absolutely amazing. I know that we have several converts in the chat. Speaking of which, welcome on in, Zarbi. So good to see you. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much for being here with us tonight. I believe that is all we have. So on that note, <sighs> adventures. Ooh. Are we ready to <laughs> enter the gauntlet? Let's go. Little stretch, mm -hmm. yeah. Stretch, yeah. absolutely. Okay. Let's when do last it. we met the Gauntleteers, Boy. <laughs> they had survived through a choice room and received the generous gift of a lock. So exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Which is labeled that it will open upon their deaths. It does, however, seem to neatly fit into the trap door on the ground which they have been told leads into some place called the Labyrinth. <sighs> However, they have not quite found death <laughs> yet. <laughs> Upon entering challenge rating five, oh God. Oh God. they fought the ever so tire, terrifying cat, Catalepus. I looked it up actually. I was I was pronouncing it wrong, as a matter of fact. Because apparently it is in fact a catablepus. Catablepus. That actually might be easier to remember. Yeah, it's bleep. Bleep only has one e, but you know what? It's a catablepus. And the mysterious, perplexing, and imitating adult oblex. Rude. Oblex. Rude. As the world went dark. Continued to fall. The first thing you hear is rain. And in the distance, the sound of thunder. You smell wet stone and dirt and wood. As you fall. Mm. Uh to a reigning city square. Whoa. This is so cool. Vibes. Let me, uh, here we go, yeah, there we go. All awesome. right, a darkened city square. These buildings, you may notice, are indeed fenced in. Um, they have, oop. All right, Smoking Dragon Gaming, thank you so much for the sub 15 months in the tavern. Pull up your chair, we're so happy to have you. Court, so happy to have you here as well tonight. Witch King 1 of 9 is coming in with those adrenaline surges. Yes. Let me describe to you some of the creatures that you see. Indeed, you do uh. see several yards, one of them more stony, several of them with trees growing in them. The trees appear to have most of their leaves fallen 
as in this room. Perhaps it is winter, fall. It's hard to say. It is murky, and a soft, gentle rain falls from the sky. The first monsters that you see. <laughs> it's fine. Tall, smooth skinned. Their skin is a dark green gray mm. covered in warts. The best amalgamation that comes to your mind is a frog. Mm -hmm. All right. But quite large. This one staring at you across the way, much as in the picture, you see hanging out of its mouth, its teeth sharpened along the edge of its lips, is a hand. Oh. Uh. It licks its lips and swallows. Oh, that's Lunchbox Gaming, thank you so much for coming in with that raid. Oh my gosh. Clamoring is heard at the doors of the tavern. What's that, Raiders? Hey! Hey! hey. Welcome to the Adventures Pack and welcome to the Gauntlet. Let's get some shout outs in the tavern, in the chat there for Lunchbox Gaming. Give yourself a little bit of self promo. Tell us what you were up to, what you were doing. Uh, tell us a little bit more about what was happening in your community. Thanks so much for trusting us. This is the Gauntlet. It's audience interactive Dungeons and Dragons combat chaos. We're just entering a new room. It does have some unique rules. So if you want to learn a little bit more, Hit exclamation point rules. We'd love to find out. Thanks so much for being here. All right. But yes, that is the first monster that you see. Oh, jeez. Wait, just just for clarity, is yeah. was was he eating a hand or is his tongue a hand? He was eating a hand. He okay, good. Eating a I hand. had the same question. <laughs> <laughs> Open mouth. Oh. Uh, <laughs> They're both pretty terrifying. Oh, this is D and D, guys. <laughs> Lister's That's mate totally has I mean. identified this creature. This is a Banderhob. Ooh. I'm sorry. What? All right. This is a Banderhob. It a has Banderhob? an armor class of 15. Okay. It has 84 hit points. Ooh. Ooh. And it has, it is uh, not immune or resistant to any kind of damage, however, it cannot be charmed or frightened. Okay. That is the first oh, really monster you see. <laughs> the second, <laughs> you can barely see at all. Floating down the sides of the street, you see something vaguely transparent. Its body seems to be made up of ever streaming, moving, chaotic, flowing wisps and pulls. At points it looks like ropes, chains, cloth, air, fog. It's hard to say but it is a dark gray, forming a vaguely humanoid shape. The most distinctive thing you can see is a face. Its large mouth pulled up into something that might be considered a smile. Vague remnants of what might have been teeth and eyes moving in and out. Deside Incarnate, thank you so much for that follow. Welcome on in. Zagmeister is identifying this smoke monsters thing. This is an Alep. <sighs> it has an armor class of 13. Okay. It has 40 hit points. Uh-oh. It is resistant to acid, fire, lightning, Thunder, bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing from non-magical attacks. Hold on. Lightning, <laughs> fire, acid, fire, wait, acid, fire, lightning, what? Thunder. Thunder, Thunder. and oh. bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing from non-magical attacks. Oh. It is immune. Oh, no. To cold, necrotic, and poison damage. Ooh. It is Immune to the conditions, charmed, exhausted, frightened, grappled, paralyzed, petrified, poisoned, prone, and restrained. Uh, Most of them. So all of them. Yeah, pretty much. 
Uh. All right. Uh. Well, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> I think we have a real shot, team. I'm a All wizard. Right. I only do that stuff. <laughs> We're going to zoom on out for our audience uh. here today. As you need oh. see four monsters, I'm gonna need everyone to roll in this shit. So do I, because we had some tech stuff happening at the beginning. Charlie is shaking in their fur right now. Wow. Oh my god, that is accurate. <laughs> you two? Got a four. <laughs> Plus two. <laughs> I end with the pen. I think Fion ate too many tacos last week. I think Feeling Charlie's a little terrified. sluggish. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, and I got a roll for Snowy. Stonebreaker. And that will be a five. Oh, God. Again, a five. Solid. Oh, no. <gasps> Charlie. Uh, I rolled a two for a ten. A and one. Snowball rolled a nine for a ten. Okay, well, for the sake of argument, have Snowball go after you. Yeah, I figured. I have a cool six. Okay. And, uh... <laughs> I didn't think I'd be going first for once with a 14, but I guess, uh... Y'all are a little rusty. Okay. <laughs> it was a slow week. We ate a lot of food, okay? okay. Uh -huh. Going on here. Uh -huh. The margaritas are still, like... Wearing off. <laughs> well, okay. Cool. This is gonna go great. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Man, I so haven't seen numbers this. like this. <laughs> this is a hell of a spread, y'all. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh yeah, and Snowball is here with you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I will Snowball, get Snowball is still here. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Snowball's there. You just can't see him. Okay. Yeah. Mood. He's hiding in my fur right now. <laughs> <laughs> Blends in pretty well, you know, with both being white, bird, and all. Stonebreaker, what's your dex? Um, oh my god, seriously. I have a plus zero. Good to know. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. What did you roll a Oh, actually, I didn't need that information. Oh, well, now I know. Um, okay. <laughs> and that is half battle. <laughs> 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 Family We're boss Prima, welcome night. on in. So good to have you. All right. Wyatt, you are going first. Oh boy, <laughs> not, not great. Um, all right. Well, hope you all have. It's not a. It's not a line, but it's a line anyway. Great. Um, this is great. <laughs> first. All right. Uh, Wyatt's gonna bonus action burn his last two sorcery points. To okay. uh, get a, oh no, now nah, it won't work. Uh, why? <laughs> why it's going to uh, use a first level spell slot, my last one, just so y'all know, uh, to cast oh bless on the three of you. Okay. Oh, all right. Ooh. Great. Uh, it's a D four, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, Nine. Nine. Uh, Seven. He's then gonna scamper on right behind Mister Breaker and fire off uh, two Eldritch blasts at the. Oh gosh, the Banderhob. Okay, the red Banderhob of the North. The yep. You've got it. Yep. So, first one's gonna be, ooh, 16 on the die for a 24 to hit. A 24 will hit. And that's a whopping one on the die for five points of force damage. Push back 10. Four feet. points? Total? Uh, five points. Five points total. So. All right, mm -hmm. Jeff has made Stonebreaker, Stoney's no jabroni, more lethal. <laughs> I plus one to your next damage roll. All right, and it is pushed back. You hear more than anything else. It, oh, we know it doesn't quite hit. It doesn't quite hit. It does not hit the wall of the gauntlet. Oh. Wait, what? There we go. Oh, it's 24 to doesn't quite hit. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, but they're AC. Uh, the second Eldritch Blast coming out. No, that definitely is. You hear it thunk into something in its chest. It seems like this creature is covered in a significant amount of blubber and skin and fat. And you actually see it ripple. <laughs> its skin is very yep. smooth. Well, let's see if we can do it again. Uh, that's a 16 to hit. A 16 will hit. Uh, for better damage this time, 10 points of force damage. You've got it. And uh, just gonna take one step back, 
to put Stonebreaker between, no, one step, uh, to put Stonebreaker <laughs> between me and the band hub. Okay. Well, that's me. All right. That will bring us to the alley. Uh, sorry, I needed to specify. I used t- my last two sorcery points to quicken that Eldritch Blast as a uh, bonus action. Excellent. I kind of assumed. Yeah, yeah. The orange one drifts forward. Let's see. Its movement is. I believe it can move this far. Yep. Okay. What? We, we can, can see your thoughts. thoughts. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, if you want to give them to us, really, no complaints. <laughs> give me a quick second, y'all. Hold on. I'm doing some thinking. Thanks for your patience, y'all. Okay, okay. Um, so... Ladies and gentlemen, if you're new here and you're looking for ways to help support us, go check us out on our website. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, other sites. <laughs> There's new things these days, apparently. We'll have a thread soon. <laughs> give us a chance to fix it. Up. Okay, um, it is actually in that case actually just going to drift forward gently. That's it. That's it. Purple is going to do much the same. Mm-mm. No. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Um, it's like those horror movies where the bad guy doesn't have to run. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. <laughs> there we go. All right. That will do it for the Alibs. Charlie. Um, all right. First thing I'm going to do is do my traditional pirouette. Okay. Of uh, blue energy as I up my blade song. Cause this is about to be really bad. <laughs> it's fine. I'm fine. Um, and then I am going to, yeah, six feet. Um, perfect. And as I finish the pirouette, I'm going to just throw, not my snowball, but a ball of snow. Okay. At the um, red banner hob frog man. You've got um, it. As I cast a uh, ray of frost on him. Okay. Let's roll Try an attack for that snowball. Slow him down. Yeah, not like any of my thighs. Oh, uh, that is a 21 to hit. 21 will hit. And that is. I actually don't know if that's a zero or an eight. Oh, it's an eight. Cool. Okay. Um, that's uh, 14 points of uh, frost damage. Hey, it's a dragon. It. I wasn't sure. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then I'm going to use, you said that these are walls? These are, uh, so there are fences and buildings. The fences are cast iron, uh, okay, raw iron, um, <laughs> <laughs> fences that are running along just outside of the perimeter of the buildings. These roofs represent tall, slate-bricked buildings that seem to be slick with rain. They are quite tall. The fences, however, are about five feet tall. So in order to hop it, I have to use... You'd have to use that jump action to do so, yes. Okay. Um, Or you could climb over it. If you wanted to, I would say that there will be a check for that. It's not going to be very high. It's a five foot fence. So it's at the height of my ears. All right. Yep. Um, with Snowball on my shoulder, hanging on, I'm going to run over to here and try to scamper up the fence. 
Okay. To get over to the other side. I have 10 feet of movement left once I get there. Okay, you guys, so you're trying to scamper up the side? Yeah, I want to, or I guess, hop over the fence. Sure. However, I can get over. Give me the... a quick athletics check or acrobatics, depending oh. on how you want to do this. Oh, I'm going to use. Um... Or are you going to bunny hop? No, I'm going to use acrobatics, and okay. I want to do it where I'm, like, almost parkouring, where I hold on to the top and just, like, flip over onto the other side. You've got it. Um, and because it's acrobatics, and I never get to do this, I get an advantage. Excellent. All right. Um, that's a 19 plus 8, so 27. Handy, handily done. Yeah. So I literally, like, do a full, like, front flip over it, land on the other side. Um, then I have five more feet of movement, so I'm just gonna go, boop, right there. You've got it. Um, and that's the end of my turn. That will bring us to Snowball. Uh, Snowball is hanging on and gonna help me. <laughs> you <laughs> got it. Next. Theon. Mm-hmm. Cool. I definitely love being equidistant from the two creepy ghosties. <laughs> um, I am gonna run up to Orange Alep. Okay. Bonus action. As you do. Uh huh. Sure. Yeah. Of course. It does reach its hand out towards you. Cool. And as it does, you can see that there's these sharp finger like protrusions that form out of the smoke as it reaches not towards your chest, but towards your face. Ah! Oh! <laughs> no. <laughs> it's an 18 to hit you. Okay. <laughs> What's gonna happen? Okay, you are going to take 12 points of psychic damage. No, uh, 15 points of psychic damage. Mm -hmm. As what you feel is its fingers actually pass through your head, and there's this cold, vibrative energy. Mm -hmm. And your eyes turn into static for a second, and for a moment, everything goes completely completely gray, and then technicolor, and back to normal. That is not a vibe. Oof. Okay. Uh, well, I'm gonna start a vibe, because that was not it. <laughs> okay. Um, that hurt my brains. It had very little sense. All yes. right, so uh, I think Fionn I lose control a little bit of my magic, and the vines surrounding me just overgrow. And 15 feet around me, uh, okay. radius is difficult terrain for my enemies only. Okay, let me get that. Or Unless they're you. immune to it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anything. Yeah, we'll but it's a 15 foot time. radius. And then I will use my action to attack. You've got it. Uh, that'll be a 19 to hit. That'll hit. Ooh. For uh, 15 points of slashing damage on the first one. Is it magical? No, so it'll take half. So how much again, one more time? 15. Got it, thank you. I'm not magical yet. So that will be seven points of damage. Um, the next attack is a ooh, 25 to hit. That'll hit. 12 points of non-magical slashing. Halved down to six. But I'm vibing. As you are vibing. Okay. Stonebreaker, that will bring us to you. Crap. Um. As the Vanderhob is rolled pretty loud. Oh. In, the, in keeping all. for the night, oh. yeah. I was hoping in being low, things would get close to me because I can't reach uh -huh. anything. Oh, oh and, and I didn't help with that. The sorry, bander, sorry. The band drop has a uh, ten feet reduced movement. Okay, thank you. I will pull out the hand axe and wait for a bander hob to get close to me, th uh, close enough for me to throw it. Okay. And that is action. Okay, you've got it. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, ten feet reduced movement, huh? That's correct. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, so the red Vanderhob hops up over the fence, shaking oh. off ice and snow. Mm. He's trying to run away from me. <laughs> However, that's about as far as he, is. <laughs> he has been slow. Um, would he get closer? Oh, I know exactly what he would do. As instead, he actually pops around this corner of this building. However, he fails at hiding. So you continue to see him poking around the corner. (laughs) You just see a pair of frog eyes peeking around the corner and a bizarrely long tongue pops out and just licks its lips clean. Cool. <laughs> Good watch. Does not say anything. <laughs> Seems to just be staring you down. <laughs> the green one. Yeah. Is going to use its entire action to move up here. However, it ducks down beneath the tree. <gasps> okay. And you cannot, it, it somehow with the darkness, the dark green color of its skin, the slickness of it, the rain, the color of the street around you, you all know generally speaking it's probably near here, but it's dark and dim and hard to track where this thing has gone. Sure, 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 mm-hmm. sure. So it is hiding. Okay. Would you consider this area right now dim light then? Yes. Oh, yes, it is dark. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> that'll do us for the Vanderhobs. So that brings us back to the top of the round with Wyatt. All right. <clears throat> Wyatt's uh, just going to look over at Charlie and... Uh, it's good to have you back, uh, but uh, I don't think in this case offense is the best defense. You better get in the field as it fires off two Eldritch Blasts around the corner at as that bander hop. Every time there's a pun, I put a D6 in the pun jar. <laughs> Just making sure it's actually lethal. Uh, yeah, it's a merciful thing to do, right? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, assuming I have line of sight, that is, on the, on the red. Band, band On the red banner hub, yes, I will say you absolutely do. Cool. Um, he's plenty far away, so no repelling blast this time. Oh, that'll be a 21 to hit. That'll hit. Uh, four, five points of force damage on the first one. Okay. Second one's gonna be, oh gosh. <laughs> that would yeah. be it. You are yeah. all <laughs> full up on adrenaline, just so you know. <laughs> Cool. Thank you. Well, that's an at 20. Excellent, okay. With the nine on the damage die, it doubles that to 18, plus four is uh, math, 22 points of damage. Yeah. Okay. And uh, I have literally no bonus actions left. <laughs> so All right. uh, that's me. As this punches into the skin of this creature, you all see it kind of fly out from underneath the side of the building where it was trying to hide. It lands semi-prone for a second before pulling its feet itself back up. Its arms, you realize, seem, while it seems like it was able to push itself back up, so obviously it's strong enough, they're weirdly thin. Okay. All right. Anything else on your turn, Wyatt? How far away is this creature? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna just kind of put myself between the fence and Stonebreaker. <laughs> the fence is a, not a bad option. Yeah, but the, the grass is greener on this side. There's not really grass on that side. <laughs> right. <laughs> Just growing all around Fion. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, that will bring us to the Alips. Which is what I'm trying to hide from. <laughs> okay. Okay. 
so. David Palladian wants nice. to spin the wheel of chaos on Wyatt. Bring it on. Welcome in, David <laughs> Palladian. As round and round this wheel's about to go, where it's going to stop, Wyatt's about to find out. I see you. Sweet. For the next two rounds, you are under the effect. Oh, no, the next round, you are under the effect of fairy fire. Cool. You're shining. Okay. Cool. Okay. The purple one is going to drift forward. that get us in range? Well, okay. I've been toying with us. It is hovering off of the ground, you notice. The rain mixing in with its non-corporeal form. And as it drifts towards all of you, something. Yeah, okay. Can make one last measurement. What do you think? Yeah, okay. It's going to be exactly where it's going to be as it drifts towards all of you. You see its jaw sling open to the side, its mouth crooked within its head. And at first you think you might be hearing words. But the closer you get, you realize it's more akin to laughter. Uh-oh. Quiet under its breath. Counterspell. Can't? I say, do you counterspell? Yeah. Nothing happens. Okay. Try it. Good job. As this noise, it almost seems like normally it would be almost too quiet to perceive. But above all of the other commotion, everything else grows dim. I need wisdom saves from you three. All right. Blessed. From Stonebreaker, Charlie, and from Wyatt. All right. Oh, thank you for that bless. Um, I will use two surges to make that a 16. Two surges to make it a 16. Charlie? I'm going to use one surge to make it a 16. One surge to make it a 16? Okay. What? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to use all three surges to make it a 10. <laughs> and then I will use my favorite by the gods to add 2d4. You assuming got it. that fails. It sure did, bud. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Same assumption. Oh, boy. Oh, adding three to that, probably not going to do it, huh? Thirteen? It's still a failure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. So you two are going to take six points of psychic damage. Okay. The Mexico is giving wide an adrenaline surge. You, you, however, are going to take 13 points of psychic damage. All right. And... That noise is all you can hear. You can't see, you can't think. There is nothing else you can do. You are stunned until the okay. end of your next turn. All right. I have to make a con save for the, uh, I don't, do I lose uh, concentration I think when you stunned? Do. It's gone. Uh, incapac- it's gone. Omega yeah. scale's given wide adrenaline surges. Yeah, it is gone, unfortunately. Well, that spell slot. So we'll see this room again. Uh-huh. <laughs> all right. That's the first one. Mega Scales has given Charlie an adrenaline surge. The one that's in front of you, Theon, is going to reach out once again with both of its hands as it just makes eye contact uh. with you. You realize one of its eyes are swirling in its head. Oh dear. That's a 17 to tit. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mega Scales is filling you up with stone, with, uh, that's who's just about to get Stonebreaker is getting an adrenaline surge. I'm filling you up. I'll let you know when this passes, but I'm pretty sure everyone's about to be full up. Yep, everyone is full up with adrenaline. All right, you are going to take 18 points of psychic damage. Oh, 
As for a second, you realize that everything around you is covered in flowers. Wait, no, everything around you is decaying. Everything around you is dripping with blood. Everything around you is brown and rotten. No, wait, everything's normal. That's the Alip's turn. <laughs> Charlie, it is your turn. Shaking off whatever it just did, um, I'm gonna turn my attention back to um, Red Boy over here. And, you know what, let's make it a fight. And with that, holding out my offhand, Shadow is just going to coalesce up it and form into my, um, my scimitar as I rush forward. And, yeah, it was my bonus action. Um, as I rush forward, and swipe at it first with Boom and Blade. Real fast as you do that, that one was yep. holding an action. I assumed as much. Yep. Okay. Assumed. Yeah, I, got my I think I know what it is going to do. Ah, rolling a natural one. You do see it bite towards you. And you realize that its mouth is handily the size of you. Oh, good. Make your attack, please. I like just duck under it as I swipe at its spindly legs. Um, with a. I'm gonna use Adrenal Surge to make that a 16 to hit. 16 to lit. And that is um, nine points of slashing. Okay. And let me con confirm that this is correct. I just lost my spell. Um, and six points of thunder. Okay. And then I'm going to second attack with my um, shadow blade. Okay. Which. I just realized I have advantage on. I had advantage on the first attack because of snowball. I'll see if you got the natural 20. Okay. Sorry. I forgot to. I didn't. Okay. okay. Um, and I have advantage on this because Shadow Blade gives me advantage of Dim Light. You've got it. Um, with a 21 to hit. That'll hit. Um, that's not a D8. Where did I literally pick up and put down the D8 at the same time? Right, and that is almost max for 22 points of psychic damage. That's enough. Very nice. Right. Um, that's everything you do? Okay. All right. As the Banderhob dissolves into ash. Snowball. Um, Snowball is actually going to fly over... Yeah, I don't know why I counted that. Snowball's a massive amount of fly speed. And land on Stonebreaker and help out Stonebreaker. You got it, Fionn. Kill great. Uh, I wipe a little bit of blood from my nose, my ears, and my eyes. Uh, that really hurt. And. Uh, gonna hit it twice. Uh, for a 24 on the first one, okay. and. Yeah, a 19 on the second. Okay. Thank you for the applause. Blisters me. For 26 points of non-magical slashing total. Okay, so it so will take 13. 13. Okay. Um... Then I'm going to move myself kind of tactily here. Oh, it definitely. No, it doesn't. Doesn't? Oh, that's right. You've mobile. got mobile. I've got the mobile feet. Okay. Um, I just kind of go. <laughs> you do see it almost reach out yeah. towards you. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> it simply cannot. No. Um, so for y'all, this is not difficult terrain around you, okay. around me, around us, around we. That's my turn. Yeah, I 
cute little field that smells fragrant. Stonebreaker. That will bring us to you. All right, looking back, uh, seeing this Alep, well, I guess it is uh, it is us, and I will walk on up and with great sword attempt to banish the smoke with a blade. Okay. Um, first the tick. Uh, that will be an 18 to hit. That'll hit. And that is going to be Oop. in the <laughs> Uh, ten points of magical slashing. Well, all right, that goes through normal. Yes. yes. Yeah. <laughs> Second to take. Is much higher than the first. Okay. Uh, for eleven points of magical slashing. You've got it. And uh, I am a simple man. That is my turn. Okay. <laughs> Word. <laughs> simple man who does great things. <laughs> that will bring us to the banner. Yeah. Uh-huh. Just comes out. <laughs> yep. Uh, what is your passive perception, actually, Fiona? <laughs> I'm glad that you asked. I am. Uh, my passive perception is 14. As Jeff wants to spin the wheel of chaos on Stony No Phony. <laughs> oh my God, Jeff. Explode. <laughs> Explode. <laughs> Adrenaline. Oh shoot. Crash. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Could have gone either way. My oh. screen was, oh. I had a whole screen pulled up right on top of it. Hold on one sec. As you take 11 points of damage. Excellent. As your adrenaline just comes crashing into your veins. It has been long day. <laughs> <laughs> no, Jeffrey, it's not good. Okay, as you take a point of damage based on each point of adrenaline that you have, all right. What is your- 14. 14, okay. Passive it perception. actually rolled higher than you, so it is going to have advantage on this attack. Can it get to me? Because that's question. difficult terrain. Difficult terrain. <laughs> <laughs> Eat greenery. <laughs> Touch grass. Give me one quick second. <laughs> like a really awkward game of red light green light yeah. turn. It's like, <laughs> Don't blink. It's like the angels. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Try, sorry, I'm counting no, like it's circles fine. of difficult terrain. Uh-huh. I'm not trying to be difficult. No, you're totally fine. I don't think you can. Okay, it is still hidden from sight. Cool, mm -hmm. cool, great. So, cool. nope, oh, nope, oh, that's not what I wanted. As none of you can, in fact, see where it has gone. That's I think great. we're alone now. So it doesn't find out it can't meet him. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Darn. Uh, it, well, it you don't really know where it is. It's dark and raining. <laughs> there you go. Um, okay, so that's the Banderhob for us. Oh, good. Wyatt, that'll bring us to you. I believe I'm stunned. You are. Uh, so, do I save or? No, you are unstunned at the end of your turn. All right. All right. Great. Stunned <laughs> in turn. All you, whoever's next. It's not really a pun, but I'm watching you. That will bring us to the Alep. Um. Yeah. Good call. The one that is right in front of you, Stonebreaker. Mm -hmm. Actually, really fast. Mm -mm. Okay. Uh, the one that is right in front of you, Stonebreaker. Um, actually, it's kind of dark, but I do think it's going to do it. <laughs> Let me get out my measuring tape again. Okay. Yeah. Uh, puts its head directly next to yours. And you realize that what you think must be its lips are right on your ear. <laughs> I'm gonna need wisdom saving throws from 
Uh, Stonebreaker, Fion, Snowball, and Wyatt. Dark Wisdom. My old friend. Yeah. How does this? Oh, I'm not sending anymore. All right, great. Cool. Oh, wisdom. Well, at least you don't auto fail it. How's that? Oh, that's an actual twenty. Okay. For a. For a twenty-one. Excellent. Okay. Stonebreaker. Uh, fail. Fail. Okay. I'm gonna add two adrenaline surges to make that a seventeen. Okay. Snowball. I mean, I think Snowball fails at the ten. Yeah. Okay. Um. Oof. For everyone who fails. Who failed? <laughs> Uh, cool. say Stonebreaker and uh, Snowball. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Snowball. <laughs> you are going to take 15 points of psychic damage. Snowball cool. poofed. Yep. <laughs> and Snowball fly, falls out of the air and disappears in a shine of blue magical light. No. As once again, as a reminder, Snowball is simply unsummoned at this time, at this time. However, Charlie <coughs> still yells out Snowy and gets yeah. very upset. Fair enough. <laughs> um, let's see. Yeah, if you save, you don't take any damage. Okay. However, if you failed, you must make one melee attack against a creature that you can see. Yeah. None of you are in range of anything, so nothing really happens. <laughs> However, you do use your reaction to swing your sword. I swing what a snowball the was. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't okay. That's going to be it for that one. We can oh, see your thoughts again. No, why mm. is that? Because we are proficient fresh. with psychic. No, I did not. I don't know, man. Okay. Apps just like to mess with us. True. Oh, that's a thing. Oh. I don't like these things. As it drifts further I don't forward, uh huh. It's something lulls out of the hole that might be its mouth. It might be a tongue. Yeah. Who's uh. to say? Is it just? Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna need more wisdom saves. Jeez. Uh, from everybody right by it. Oh, if only the blessed <laughs> stayed up. <laughs> this is why I ran oh away dear. from it. I think, Charlie, you might be in the clear. Let me double Ooh, check. I'm 45 mm -hmm. feet away. 45 feet away? Okay. Based off of the measurement I just oh, did. Oh, hold on really quickly. Let me double check something here, Charlie. Oh, you're just out of range of that last one. Okay. All right. From everyone else, what did we roll? No one wants to go first. We got a four. Three. We got a three. Oh, also a four. Wow, okay, great. Um, <laughs> oh, horrible kisses. Totally. They're all lip. Cleanse <laughs> everyone's thigh in here right now. Was it a Basics pun? A yes, it's an all it lip. Was a, it was a pun. <laughs> yes. I'm saying it's true. You were all going to take 15 points of psychic oh. damage and you were all stunned. Oh, stunned? Until the scared. end of your next turn. Oh my god. Oh no. Yep. That is all the olives are gonna do, so Charlie, it's your turn. Um, Gollum Master, yes. I just, rules question because I forgot. Totally. Uh, when something says a range of like 20 slash 60, yes. is it disadvantage to stick between correct. 20 and 60? Yes. Okay. Um, and past 60, it is impossible. Got it. Okay. That's what I thought, but I just want to confirm. <laughs> Yeah. Um, and then if I have advantage on it, that makes a straight roll. Correct. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, first off, this thing is resistant to everything I can <laughs> freaking do to it. Um, whatever, it's still damage, even if it's resistant. Um, I'm gonna first throw a fireball at its face. Okay. And, eh. Well, Fair enough. And we're aiming at the orange one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, that's a 22 to hit. A 22 will hit. Okay. That is 12 points of fire damage. Have down to six. 
Um, and then with my second attack, I'm going to throw my Shadow Blade at it because that's okay. thrown property. It's, um, so it's at disadvantage, but I have advantage because of dim, so it's straight roll. Correct. That is a 23, 15 plus 8, 23 to hit. That'll hit. Um, for eight points of psychic damage. Which is exactly what you needed, as it is not resistant to psychic damage. <coughs> what happens is it almost, it folds in on itself, as all of Charlie sees its head fall down into its body cavity, and it wraps up in and around itself. And as it spins and turns into dust, you swear the last thing you hear Sounds like arcane properties? Magical calculations? Who's to say? But as quickly as you hear it, it is gone. I want to research what I use sometime. Okay, um, and then bonus action, blade peers back in my hand. Okay. Um, and knowing that I was out of whatever stunned everybody down there, <laughs> Um, I'm gonna stay put. Okay, you've got it. That's my turn. Snowball has perished, or has at least desummoned. Fion is stunned. Stonebreaker is stunned. Both of you do regain faculties at the end of your turn. Uh, let me double check that that's exactly when you, because it's at the end of your next turn. So that would be now. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. More blood. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Seeing that. All right, don't freaking make my things visible here. I should have been. Yeah. The okay. <laughs> it's going to be all up to you. I'm trying out a D6 again. Biscuits. Okay. Does that mean we win? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you've won the gauntlet. Congratulations. Go home. Wow. Yay, no See more you next it. season. <laughs> As you would see a band ah. here right next to you. However, you are stunned and do not notice oh, yeah. it. Let me double check and see if that auto hit. I know it. It's. Okay, it just has advantage. All right. This attack is going to be an advantage. Yeah, that's gonna be a 24 to hit you. Yeah, that's gonna be a hit. Oh, it's a 26 to hit you, actually. Oh. Uh, even, even more of a hit. As what all of you see <laughs> is its massive jaw open wide. Oh, oh, no. And in fact, you realize that what you thought might have been a belly or something else right in front of it is actually just the cavity of its <gasps> mouth. Oh. As it swallows Wyatt whole. Oh, God. Wyatt! On oh, you. You take. <laughs> 16 points of piercing damage. Uh huh. Even without seasoning, as Rabbit season why it's unconscious. Oh. Okay. Now, I will say, uh, okay. Uh -oh. oh, good to know. Okay, all right. I see what's going to happen here. So you are, in addition to being unconscious, when you come back to, you are blinded and restrained. You have if you come back to. Yeah, let's... Um... Yeah. You will have total cover against attacks and effects outside, as none of you can see Wyatt, not even the tippy top of his little bunny ears, as he is completely swallowed. Cool. So that's its turn. <laughs> um, oh wait, you know what? If it's bonus action, it's gonna back up a little bit and back. fail at hiding. I'll put you on the GM layer for now as you are in fact inside of a giant frog. Okay, it is gone. Wyatt, at the beginning of your turn, you take, Well, for the sake of the 
people counting at home, that's going to be 16 points of necrotic damage. Cool, which, which is just going to be a failed, failed death, death save. save. Um, However, as that happens, um, you stabilize. Wait, what? Oh. You are unconscious. Hmm. Great. I would like to eat its meat. I don't like that. Fresh. So there you go. All right, that will then bring us to the Alep. Uh, who is going to? Ooh, that is disturbing. Good to know. All right, Stonebreaker. Mm -hmm. It reaches out its hand towards you. Mm -hmm. It's only going to be a ten to hit you, however. Cool. So and that is all that it can do. Okay. That then will bring us to Charlie. Hmm. All right. Um, first, I uh, very angrily gonna chuck a fireball into Greenie's backside. You've got it. Let's make that attack. Oh my God, Jeff, you're so. Oh, not twenty. Here. Okay. <laughs> As Jeff comes in from the chat to say, hair today, gone tomorrow. Nice. <laughs> nice. Nice. Or uh, hair today, lunch tomorrow. That's better. Awesome. All yeah. right. Also appropriate. All right. So nat 20 for uh, 20 points of fire damage. All right. As it licks up its backside, it, it, it seems to have its mouth full. So you're mm. awesome, great. Um, and then, I just want to confirm. I can, if I have two attack actions, I can break it up with my movement in between. Yes. Okay. Um, so I'm again going to leap over. Okay. Try to parkour over this. Make another acrobatics or athletics check. Nat 20. Yeah. For 29. You pirouette off the top of this thing, practically <laughs> with one finger. Uh, all right. And then, so that got me there. So that was 10 feet. Uh, all right. So 35 feet gets me there. And okay. as I slide in, I'm going to shadow blade at its stomach, trying to rip its stomach open. Let my brother go. Okay. I slid a little far with two tubes on the die. Okay. Um, but gonna try to recover and bonus action hit him again with my shadow blade. All right, Matt. Thank you so much for that subscription. Twenty six months, Inquisitor Marin Tavern pulled the chair. We're so happy to have you. Third nat twenty. Okay. <laughs> I really like this dice. Uh huh. <laughs> it really likes me. Um. All right. So that's. Uh, I can do that math. 32 points of psychic damage. Okay. Its eyes cross inwards towards its nose and it blinks. And it rolls its head and it looks back down at you. Make me. He's tasty. I will. And I just right. stand there holding my shadow blade out. That's the end of my turn. All right. right. Fion, it is your turn. Listen, I don't want you to eat my friends. <laughs> and I'm just going to walk up behind him and hit him over the back of the head with my axe. <laughs> All right. You do have advantage on this attack because you have friendship. Uh, the first one will be a dirty 20. That'll hit. The second one will also be a dirty 20. Let's roll some damage. Oh. It's a different number now. I've been calculating this one less. Um, 19 points of slashing damage. You've got it. Bonus action. I need a strength saving throw, please. You've got it. Because I can. <laughs> wow. 
I think it's gonna fail that. It's pretty dang strong, but uh, alternatively, when you roll a six on the die, that's an 11. It fails. Okay. So I'm gonna toss it kind of like to the left 10 feet. Okay. It'll go right about there then. Cool, and then that's what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use the rest of my movement to get around here. Okay, and Mads has given Fionn an adrenaline surge. Mm. Welcome in, Clever Foodie. So good to have you here tonight. As it skids along the ground, is it knocked prone? No. No? Just okay. <laughs> just tossed. <laughs> okay, you got Insult it. Insult to injury. <laughs> it does seem very confused yeah. as it lands. Hoping it'll make trying to him burp out. <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to yeah. burp out. Yeah. Failboat, thanks so much for the follow, Failboat. Welcome on in. So good to have you. Anything else on your turn? That is literally all I can do. Stonebreaker. All right. Uh, first thing I do, I keep uh, attacking this elf in front of me. Okay. That will be a 21 to hit. That will hit. for uh, 14 points of magical slashing. Okay. It takes that normally. Second attack. I will use one surge to make that a 14. 14 will hit. For uh, 13 points of magical slashing. More than enough. Yes. I then... As it falls and disappears into ash, mm. you hear whispers, mm -hmm. and you swear they're coordinates. They're coordinates on a map for something. But as quickly as you hear it, it's gone. Thematically, I am not listening. I've already turned and brought my blade over to the Bandar Hub. Bonus action because I killed something. Sus. Yes. A tick. Okay. And that will be a 17 to hit. That'll hit. For 11 points of magical slashing. You've got it. And um, that is my turn. That will bring us to the Banderhob. Who is dripping in blood. Good. Yeah. Let my brother go. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, so. Got it. Okay. Okay. Um, Theon. Mm hmm. It opens its mouth. Chomps down on you. Hi, Wyatt! <laughs> you do see a tiny bit of fur oh. on the inside. It's made 23 to hit you. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. <laughs> cool. Ooh, not so hot. You are going to take. Um, 10 points of piercing damage. Half down to th two because you were vibing. Half down to five? Oh yeah, five because you were vibing, yeah. That was two more than you needed <laughs> to take me down. <laughs> okay. All right. Tony, it's up to you know us. <laughs> yep, and as it does, as it chomps down on Fion and throws him a little bit to the side, <laughs> whipping out of his Dignity. mouth is this enormous tongue that comes flying out of the air towards you, Stonebreaker. It's a natural 20. Uh. Ooh, that's one strong tongue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Those push-ups with it. Yeah. I must. That's I why its arms are so tiny. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you are going to take 26 points of necrotic damage. Oh. Whoa. Necrotic, you say? I do. Cool, I'm down. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Hit like a tongue of licks. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Another D6 in the fun jar. I'm that one was really going to need to go buy more. Uh, <laughs> Support your local gaming stores. <laughs> <laughs> but I Jeff, haven't punished me in your game. <gasps> All right, I that's... really didn't see that one tonguing. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Banderhob's turn. Wyatt, you are stable. That's where we're at now. For the sake of this argument, you do take uh, 12 more points of necrotic damage. However, you are instantly stabilized. Okay. No. Mostly just keeps okay. from healing. Yeah. That's, uh, that's great. Uh, for the sake of mechanics. Yeah, do don't get me out of here. My, my fur is going to be all singed up. It's not pretty. Ew. <laughs> Wes is glad he was uh, stunned when this went down. He's gonna have no recollection. <laughs> the that is uh, the Allops have all perished. Charlie is the last remaining. Oh, I'm angry. Person in this room. Ah, <laughs> uh, first off, scimitar. Um, gosh, I forgot the names of things. It's okay. <laughs> booming blade. You've got it. Let's make that booming blade attack. Boom. That. Uh, that is a 15 to hit. 15 will hit. That is eight points of uh, slashing and four points of thunder. So much more than you needed. It was at two. <laughs> Blow him up. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, as he dissolves into ash, before the room disappears, you do see Wyatt intact. <laughs> Ew. Fall wetly to the ground. <laughs> Mm. The room right. goes adverb. dark. <laughs> I'm the only one alive? You sure <laughs> are, buddy. <laughs> oh no. Anna, out of As we enter the next room a little bit quicker than I thought we were going oh, to need to, so okay. give me a quick second here and let me get those stats pulled up for these fine folks. Give me a quick sec. Wow. Yep, you're not wrong. So I mean I can do my lifelong like goal of riding a dog. Once again, <laughs> the biggest monster you see in this room barely needs to be zoomed in on as Charlie, you are surrounded by two of your first gargantuan monsters. Oh Congratulations, everyone. Uh, Thanks. <laughs> Must be nice to see you all. A <laughs> tremendous green-scaled, long-necked dinosaur. That's the first one. All right. The yeah, second one. See. <laughs> yeah, the other one's like a little leg. Is quite small, as a matter of fact. A normal what size the? critter. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Which no. king one of nine is identifying the dinosaur? It is, in fact, a dinosaur. It's a brontosaurus. <laughs> brontosaurus. Favorite. It has an arm class of 15 and 121 hit points. Mm -hmm. It has no notable immunities, resistances. It's a, it's a dinosaur. And wow. it does move and hurts. <laughs> it does. There's there's two of them, which I suppose what was it? quantifies. 15. 15. HP is 121. The I second know. creature this you see. I'm terrified of in the grass, rolling forward, is an amalgamation of wood and steel and bronze. It appears to be a massive crossbow on wheels. However, at the front of it is a metallic shapen head, and whoever carved this carved this into the face of a dragon. No. A slight uh, copper topaz glint behind its eyes imply a magical presence. Oh, I'm just gonna roll real quickly here for that. Metal. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which King 109 is identifying the construct things? These are clockwork oaken bolters. Clockwork what and what is? Oaken bolters. Oaken bolters. Oaken bolters. Clockwork oaken, oaken bolters. It has an armor class of 16. 117 hit points. <gasps> it is immune to poison damage, and it cannot be charmed, exhausted, frightened, paralyzed, petrified, or poisoned. Immune to conditions. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. Open bolter. 
And was that a 16 AC? It yes. was indeed. Uh, 117 HP. Yeah. They just had to show me up, be double mine. That's fun. The bolters are going to go first. Oh, okay. Let me double check. With a name like that, they deserve it. Yeah. I mean. All right. Let's zoom out here. Also, let me mark the uh, the dead gauntleteer, or the dying gauntleteers. <laughs> okay. Dying, dying. Oh, actually, you're not dead yet, so I don't need to mark you. However, the bolters are going <laughs> to go first. Um, I'm just going to steamroll this. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The red one. I- Charlie. Sorry. Sorry to interrupt. Yeah, you're I totally st- fine. I still have the rest of my turn left. Okay, sure thing. I'll allow that. Is that okay? Yeah, absolutely. Um, If not, like, it's fine. I'm just curious, because I only did one attack, and I haven't done anything else. Um, I am going to use my movement, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, hit here. Okay. How tall is this thing? <laughs> tall. Yeah, real freaking tall. Can I get on top of it at 30 feet? No, no. Is it like 50 feet, 100 feet? No, no. Uh, well, you know, its shoulders might be about 30 feet up, actually. Yeah, I suppose you could kind of get onto its shoulders. All right, from here, misty step on the shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting away from the thing on the ground. <laughs> okay, sure, I will allow it. Boom. <laughs> As a massive head turns and looks back at you, its eyes are the bright red of all of the constructs of the gauntlet, but it's... I feel bad. Um, There's a bunch of grass and leaves hanging out of its mouth. <laughs> I literally am gonna be like, sorry, but I have to. And I'm just gonna stab down okay. with my, um, yeah, with my blade. <laughs> and a bond chat saying, you should feel bad. <laughs> um, Jeff is saying, you've got this to Stony B, who is on an errand. I'll give it to him when he gets back. I feel Sterling. really bad. Oh, it may still hit, hit though. I don't know. Um, with, if I use one point of adrenaline to make that a 15. 15 hits. All right. Shadow blade into its neck. I apparently do actually feel very bad about doing this. Uh, nine points of psychic damage. Nine points of psychic damage is Rhodes. Rhodes, Rhodes PC. Thank you so much for the follow. Nine points? Yep. Okay. Thank you so and much then, for the follow. Welcome um, in. I'm just going to hold on. Okay. <laughs> and like be as low to its neck as I can. So maybe the metal things can't see me as well. Okay. Because it's really big. Now, real quick, as a reminder, because we do have a lot of new folks hanging out here in the audience tonight, death is inevitable in the gauntlet. It is a part of the game. It is the only way our players experience a long rest. They will not truly die. They will simply respawn at the last room. So never use stress, my friends. Um, I'm stressed. <laughs> the, the stressful part is before the death. Yeah. yeah. Right now. It's getting there. Mm-hmm. Now. Which I think brings, brings us to, to the a clockwork. death save. Oh, no, it brings us to the oh. clockwork open bolters. Oh, oh, yeah. They rolled good. So they oh. roll forward. Wait, what did it bring us to? Oh, wait, you know what? You're right, because they're at the top. You're, I'm wrong. I wasn't at the top. Ignore I rolled like me. shit. Fionn, I need a death save. You're quite right, Fionn. I'm just excited to sh- do things. <gasps> High five! Did you just roll a natural 20, I Fionn? just rolled a natural 20. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Jeff has unleashed the charge of the gauntlet on Fionn. Oh, God. I need you to roll a percentage die. <laughs> you can't roll less. You can't. I can't die. Oh, you can't true. die. All right. Yeah, good play, dude. That's an 18. It is a failure. You do take 20 okay. points of that damage, <laughs> but you cannot be reduced to more than one. Uh, that's the gauntlet resets. Okay. You also have advantage on your next death saving. Love it. Okay. Oh lord, so okay. Is up. That happens at the beginning of your turn. So. It sure does. Do you have- I'll use half my movement to stand up, and then I'll use my action to dash 
As Omega Scales wants to spin the Wheel of Chaos on you. Burn me. <laughs> <laughs> round and round that wheel's about to go. Where it's going to stop, Fion's about to find out. Hide and seek. For the next round, I think we ruled this one's two rounds because it's more fun. The next two rounds are going to be effects of the blink spell. Okay. Um, cool. For... Bonus action to drink a potion for yourself. Okay. Right. Right. Just. Uh, oh, for you? No, it's an it's an action. Oh, to drink. Oh, rogue. just kidding. I'm not a rogue. Yeah. Um, season, so buddy. yeah, bonus action. Uh, Gorin Rush. So oh, okay. I'm gonna make an attack. At the dinosaur is very big and easy to hit. Yeah. Uh, for uh, 19. That'll hit. The uh, audience has asked me a question, just so we know, we don't have anyone dead on the field, simply unconscious. Uh, six points of Pearson damage. You've got it. Does and need to make a strength saving throw? No, 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 adorable. this is Gorin Rosh, okay. not Hammer and Horns. Got it, okay. <laughs> Different horn, horn issues here. Got yeah. It. Um, and then I'm gonna see if I pop out, blink, and I do. Okay, <gasps> as Fionn pops out That's of existence. Point perfect for you. Okay. <gasps> That then will bring us to the clockwork. Nope, 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 Stonebreaker, I need a death saving throw. But Come you on, do it at advantage. Yeah. Come, on. Come on. No. Um, and, uh, yeah, that'll be a failure. <gasps> With two failures. Now we go around to the clockwork. With two? Did I take damage? Yep. So one fit. Uh, yeah. One. yeah. Yes. Okay, which rattles forward, and two long bolts shoot out of the front of this thing. Um, Do I get any kind of coverage because I'm like laying <laughs> flat against its back? Its range is pretty intense. So no coverage? So no, no, not in this instance. You are, this is not the kind of dinosaur that has much on its back to hide along. It doesn't have <laughs> spikes or anything. It's pretty smooth. And you can lay down flat, but you are still a bright white bunny on the back of a green dinosaur. You know, that's very fair. Unfortunately. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, that's, that's correct. Yeah. Loud Vuvuzela. Annabelle is trying to keep Stonebreaker in the game. Make a medicine check, Annabelle. Oh my god. We believe in you. <laughs> Did we fix the uh, rolls that they make, by the way? Oh, you know, we may not have. So add plus one to this, Annabelle. Yes. I'll fix it at intermission. Oh my gosh, no matter what, though, Annabelle rolled really well. Annabelle rolled a 22 on their medicine check, and I don't think I've ever had a loud Vuvuzela actually really go through. Give me a quick second. Uh, remove the failed gut save, I think. Yeah, it's exactly what it is. <gasps> yep. Oh, that's amazing. She also had some charges go up that I didn't see. Wow. But I think connect to death save is this out? I forget. I, oh, I think so. Oh, works. I see. They're if I remember correctly. Now. Okay. For some reason, there's a bit of a delay on the cards here, so my apologies, everyone, tonight. Yep, remove a failed death save. And is it my next save is made at this end? Yes, that is correct. Cool. All right. I know I'm not clicking it right now, Stonebreaker, but I did get them. For some reason, there's a little bit of a delay. But yes, your next saving throw, death saving throw, is a disadvantage. Mm -hmm. Okay. Clever Foodie has played an unstable charge. Oh my gosh, yeah, we're gonna have to fix this delay at the break. I'm gonna wait till it comes through. <laughs> Give me a sec. Hi! On Fion, I need a percentage die. I'm just on the ethereal plane, vibing. That's a 92. You're a heal for 13 points. <laughs> Thank you. 13, 13 points, cool, cool, cool. Inquisitor Merit and thinks Charlie should hydrate. Probably two attacks actually. coming out at you. There's a 21 to hit on the first attack. Shield. Shield, okay. Second attack. Is a 25 to hit. No, 24. That just hit. hits. Just hits, okay. Use these ones a lot. Ooh, okay. Uh, as you take 14 points of piercing damage, as a bright white bolt of 
It looks like there's metal at the end of this, but it just appears to be as much magic as it appears to be iron. Slices into your side. Okay, that's the red one. Purple one, which is right in here, uh, is going to rattle on forward. Animal doesn't think Stonebreaker's done yet. Your next death saving throw will be made at advantage, which means it will be a straight roll. Oy, oy, oy. Oh, crap, Pythagoras. This is what we call a combo. <laughs> They're finding the meta in the cards. Mm -hmm. Yep. Five yeah, it can still hit you. Got a little Pythagoras theorem. Yep. Good old Pythagoras. Uh, its first attack is a 14 to hit you. Doesn't hit. Its second attack is a 25. That hits. As you take 20 points of piercing damage. All right, still up. Okay. Okay, that will do it for the Clockwork Oaken Bolters, who seem to have had the longest term in the history of ever. Waya is stable, however. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, no, no, no save, death no saves, nothing. you're just unconscious. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> That then will bring us to Charlie. Um, one second, refreshing our thing. I have a black screen. Okay. Um, but what my plan is to do is just keep stabbing Brontosaurus. You've got it. So um, first attack. You are still on the Brontosaurus. Uh, first attack, thunder, um, yeah, booming blade into its neck. You've got it. Was that clocked? Or is that a 16? I think that is 16, yes. Okay, so that would be a uh, 25, 16 plus that'll 8, 24. D that'll definitely hit either way. <laughs> um, five points of slashing damage okay. and three points of thunder damage. It takes all that normally as it is a Brontosaurus. Second attack is with my sock scimitar. Too bad I'm not stony. Uh, that is a 27 to hit. That'll hit. That is 10 points of psychic damage. Okay. Bonus action attack again. How many, uh, wait. You have two points of adrenaline. Everyone has two except for Wyatt who has three. That's 15, I have two points. I'm gonna use both to make it a 15. Okay. Um, for... 13 points of psychic damage. You feel it groaning underneath you more than you hear it. The rumbling is so very low that it doesn't register all that well in your ears that you feel this thing breathing. Uh, it's so big, y'all. I really mm -hmm. cannot explain how big this thing is. <laughs> oh yeah, Charlie's having a great time riding it. Um, I'm just gonna stay on. Hope it goes for a walk around. You've got it. Okay. <laughs> Snowball has poofed Fion. Cool, great. You know, I'm going to poof back. Okay. And hit it with my axe. <laughs> You've got it. Why not? Uh, yeah, for a 24 to hit. That'll hit. Seven points of slashing. You've got it. Second attack. Uh, I'll do one point of adrenaline to make that a 15. Okay for eight points of slashing. You got it. Um, I can't do hammering horns on this anyway. <laughs> so, because it's way more than one large, oh, one size larger than me. Yeah, if you were to try, it would be adorable. You are about the width of this thing's leg. That's pretty it's cool. Its foot could just Well, I don't want it to do that, but what I am gonna do is use my movement Clam run up here with me? Well, <laughs> <laughs> listen. Because <laughs> there's not really a way that I can skirt around it to get advantage from flanking with my friend on top not, of it. Not, not yeah. really, no. You could try and get under its belly, but I'm going to say that's 
kind of being a funky. Yeah. I'll just swing around here and see if I bamf out. Okay. And I don't. This okay. has been real. <laughs> All right. That will bring us Stonebreaker. I need a death save. Baru, uh, that will be a success. Okay. Yes. That will bring us to the Brontosauruses. You do not, right? I, I did not. You are still there. Okay. Remember Fionn that likes thing to I just think described? that he's gone. Those legs that are the size of me. This thing moves incredibly slow. Oh no. <laughs> as you just see one leg lifting up over your head and it is dark suddenly all the way around you. I just really hope it's like stepping on a D4 with my- It's a 16 to hit you. <laughs> that does hit right now because my shield is not up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Keep writing this down here. Oh, good. I'm actually looking forward to hearing what sort of damage this thing outputs. It's a learning experience. <laughs> As you take 32 points of bludgeoning damage, half because you're vibing. I'm not vibing. You're not vibing, that's right, you died. 32 points of bludgeoning oh, damage. Oh, that was more than enough. Okay. Uh, I would say you need to succeed on saving throw, but you don't, because you are underneath. The I am toe jam at this yeah. point. Mm -hmm. In fact, I'm all the way where you are, Charlie. That's essentially the sound you hear. You hear an oh. sound underneath. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's that one's turn. And some glitter. <laughs> uh. <laughs> This one's kind of stuck here, but he's gonna go around. You poof into existence. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> Welcome to the <this> side. <laughs> it's gonna be difficult terrain for this thing to move through the trees because it's that big, but it is kind of stuck sitting there. And that's all it's gonna do, which will then bring us to the clockwork looking bolters. Who, the first one's gonna make an attack at you, Charlie. Two attacks. First attack is a soft 20 to hit. Shield. Okay. Second attack oh, I took it off. is a 24. That's my AC. Okay. I'm not hasty. <laughs> that is gonna be. Twelve points of piercing damage. Oh boy! <laughs> the second one is also going to make two attacks at you. All right. Actually, that one's going to move a little bit closer because I bet you these things are awful. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to see a lot. Oh. Because it rolls right up to here. <sighs> now I need my measuring tape, and I got a Pythagorean it again. Okay, yeah, it can hit you with this one. So it's first attack. It's the same bolt you're used to. Oh, dang, that natural 20 is cocked. Oh, that sucks. Okay. <laughs> no, it doesn't suck. <laughs> <What a shame. laughs> really. Natural one. That's an experience. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's second attack does not look the same. Uh -oh. And launching out of the front of it is a harpoon. Hmm. That's going to be a 25 to hit you. That hits. Okay. I'm about to go down. You take seven points of piercing damage. I'm down. That is one more than you Ooh. needed. The Did last thing <laughs> you feel is it grapple into your shoulder and tug you down towards the dinosaur. Throwing out the rabbit with the wash, huh? It's not a pun. It's pretty close. Watch yourself. <laughs> as the world goes dark, as every single one of the gauntleteers on the board is unconscious or deceased. <laughs> Having not made it to the other sanctuary, wow. you return. Wow. Well, listen, <laughs> it'll be easier coming up soon. <laughs> um. 
Maybe. Maybe. Ow, pear um, hurt. Um, hey, Wyatt, I got a ride. Pronto! A what? Dinosaur. It was a really cool dinosaur. It yeah. squished me. Really big. It squished you? It was pretty cool. It was really big and really cool. I gotta ride a dinosaur. And as you debate the merits of riding dinosaurs. There are many. <laughs> We're gonna take a quick break, audience members. We're gonna take a quick break to stretch our legs, get a little bit of water, refresh ourselves. But don't go anywhere, because what's that? We have a giveaway to do. Uh -huh. I know you're all surprised, but we have one. It's a giveaway for Cantrip Candles, our beloved sponsor of season two of The Gauntlet. We've got a $15 coupon code to give away internationally, so anyone can win. There's going to be a code word for this. The code word for this is going to be gargantuan. Uh, so <laughs> watch for it to go through in chat. It's going to be exclamate point, exclamation point gargantuan. Nightbot's going to post this in chat here in just a couple of quick seconds. Be sure to only enter it once or you will be disqualified. You folks take care. We're going to see you in just a minute. Bye y'all.
Thank you. 
everyone and welcome back to the gauntlet audience interactive dungeons and dragons combat chaos where our adventures are continuing on their never-ending quest to defeat every monster of the multiverse welcome back in everyone and smoking dragon gaming congratulations on winning the giveaway send us a dm on twitch we'll be sure to get that code over to you to the amazing cantrip candles Oh my gosh, live from the apocalypse. Thank That's you so awesome. much for that raid. Oh my oh gosh. Dear. Oh, How's the apocalypse? Yeah. Uh, here, let me. Uh, uh, At least you're alive. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Raiders, welcome on now. in. It looks like you were doing some tabletop RPGs. Tell us which one. Give us some more deets. We always love to hear what you were running. Tell us a little bit more about your campaign, about your stream. How did it go? Give yourself some self promo in the chat. And thank you for trusting us with your community. If you're new here, Welcome to the Gauntlet Audience Interactive Dungeons and Dragons. It does have some rather unique rules. So if you want to find out a little bit more, be sure to hit exclamation point rules. It's a little bit funky. It's roguelike combat D&D &D, and it's goofy audience interactive fun. So go check us out. A Willem scream. I like that. <laughs> uh, hello. Awesome. <laughs> I can't do it. It's so weird. I see you everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> and as we're coming back from intermission, our adventurers are waking up in the sanctuary. Oh, I feel right as rain. Didn't you just get stomped on? Sure did. It's like the moments before you're in pain, but uh -huh. now this is good. Real quick, there's going to be a little bit of a tech fix. Please keep talking about it. Cool. All right. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, some of you may have been out for that last room. There's some metal things that are terrifying. They like, do shoot things. Yeah, yeah, they're really scary. Um, I recommend, well, I would recommend staying away, but staying away seemed to not work. Hmm. Well, the thing that I cannot recommend staying away from are these amazing sails. Uh, <gasps> Ooh, yes. jumping! It's called a Segway. <laughs> Wait, yeah. wait, can we get Isri one of those too? Better now. I don't know. <laughs> Isri, do you still segue? Hello, everyone. Uh, what? 
I don't know, I've heard of them. It has like wheels on it and like a handle and you stand on it and it like scoots you around. Where are you from again? The Fey Realm. In the Fey Realm. What do you have there today? They have um, <laughs> wheeled things. Um, certainly, it is a new month, so there's new things in the shop. So, um, let's see, let me get my list pulled up. Oh my goodness gracious, I've got some cute things for you this day. Let's see here. Um, okay, so so the first one I have is that something we've seen a little bit before. It's quite nifty, and she pulls out two potions mm. with cloudy, white, gray, wispy looking liquid inside. These are potions of flying. I have two of them. Yeah. I could have flown. Oh, you remember that. So there we go. We I have can that. I can do that without a potion now, by the way. I can as well. But this one you don't have to concentrate on. It just makes you fly. I mean, that is uh, that is pretty potent. Um, how, how much do you say? Surely they are 500 gold each. All right. Mm -hmm. Um, have a good night, Mads. Take care of yourself. All right. Um, I also still have, uh, this of course being a high ticket item, but of course because it still remains, a uh, store access at the rest stop mm -hmm. is still available to you. It's still 2,500 gold. Um, I have, oh, it's my apologies, 25,000 gold. Ah, I thought there was a comma yeah. missing that there. Comma. I thought there actually was a sale for a second. <laughs> I was uh, like, oh, well, you know, that's not bad. So. This is just rather interesting. I'm not sure what the applications would be of this, but I I think you could come to find some uses for these. And she pulls out two small headbands made of a blue-black metal inside with a small wrapping of soft leather. It seems to be a headband that would go from here to here, wrapping around the back of your head and towards the front there are sharp triangles protruding down right by your eyes um it's very geometric and quite plain these ones we brought uh, all the way from ravnica they are called spies murmurs spies murmurs well, each ravnica one's a spies murmur but uh, magic items a spies murmur. Okay. Um, so essentially, it, it will, um, if you put one on, you'll be able to know anyone else who's wearing one in the vicinity, which I would be quite shocking if you ran into anyone else in the gauntlet, so I don't know that that will be quite practical. But um, the other thing that it does is it allows you to share and communicate telepathically with anyone nearby who is wearing one. It also allows you to tele to translate anything you are hearing to that person. Um, so you can kind of switch what it's doing, if it's listening to you or listening to your surroundings, but essentially it allows for telepathic communication. Between people who are both wearing it. Between people who are both wearing it. Is this an attuning item? You know, I have to double check. I don't recall. Give me a quick moment and I will look it up for you. I've always wanted to like, telepathically communicate with my twin, but... It does require attunement. So there is that. How much would the set us back? Shelly, um, 2,500 apiece. Each, Each. Uh, for the set. So five, right. so 5,000 for the set. Essentially. Right. You That's basically cool. need the set in order to make it a, a functioning item. Realistically, but of course, you know, this is how I price them. It's fine, it's two items, technically. That's really cool. So, 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 the other one that I have in about that same price range is this, and she pulls out a little purple stone with runes on the top. And just sits it on the edge of the desk very tinily. Now that is an iron stone. <gasps> very fancy. They, if you think about it, it's around your head, and it does some things. This one particularly is the iron stone of fortitude. Let me double check what it does. Mm. <laughs> oh. Certainly. Um, doo -doo -doo. It does require attunement. 
Uh, your constitution score will increase to, by two, to a maximum of 20. That's, that's significant. Holy. Oh. <laughs> Now that one runs mm, runs about uh, thirty five hundred gold. Uh, surprisingly affordable. Well, the thing about them is that I will admit um, they can be targeted. Mm. So it is a thing that if you have enemies who are perhaps a little bit more sharp eyed, they can choose to target this. Hence the lower price. Um, it is also a thing that um, just does not confer this benefit all the time. Uh, you have to throw it up in the air. Um, is that an action to do that? or It is indeed. Okay. Mm. So it is not a thing that just happens all the time. It is a thing that you can activate and then that will happen. Um, sort of. <gasps> Legends of Avantress! Oh my goodness gracious! Thank you so much for that raid! Ooh, Holy guacamole! Hey. It's so good to see you! Thank you so much for trusting us with your community! There's a lot of folks coming through saying hi. I wish I could read it to all of you. Dead Rasuku, thank you so much for the follow, but for all of you coming in, I'm seeing some names that I've seen before and some that I have not, but we're so grateful that you are here. Can we get a shout out for Legends of Avantress? Oh my goodness gracious! Oh my Hello! Hi hey friends! Scottimus Prime! Oh my god. Scottimus Prime! <laughs> Someone took your name. I say, that's hilarious. He is, our Scott has been called that. And that twitchy kid, thank you so much all of you for the Hi. follow. But yeah, give yourself some self-promo in the chat. Again, thank you so much for trusting us with your community. This channel is the Adventurer's Pack, but this show is The Gauntlet! It's audience interactive, Dungeons and Dragons, never-ending combat chaos. Our adventurers are trying to defeat every monster of the multiverse. It's a roguelike D&D. It's got some kind of funky rules. Uh, so if you want to learn a little bit more, you can hit exclamation point rules to find out a little bit more about what's going on with that. It looks like you're playing some Dungeons and Dragons. Obviously, if you need to go, Take care of yourself. If anyone needs to go, take care of yourself. Get some rest. Get some sleep. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> uh, but if you want to tell us a little bit more about what was going on, we always love hearing a little bit more about other people playing. Holy guacamole. Uh, <laughs> Sleeping Black Dragon, Bored Panda, MK the Cat, Cursed Corvid X, and Fable Table. <laughs> oh, that's great. I love Dean. I love Twitch names, y'all. Uh, <laughs> because I'm your gauntlet master, Emmy. Um, it's so nice to have you. Um, right now, our adventurers are in the sanctuary, which is a save point between rooms. They never experience a long rest, and uh, they will uh, essentially fight until they perish, which is what just happened. <laughs> and it was great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling better than ever. <laughs> and they just respawned back in this room and are currently being able to experience the shop. So... Money, 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 money. But yes, they are with the shopkeep Isri, who is telling them a little bit more about what is going on. Um, but yeah, again, thank you all so much for hanging out. If you want to get yourself comfy and cozy, we'd absolutely love to have you. Thank you so much. Thank you so, 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 so much. Oh my goodness gracious. Big so, hearts. Isri, um, yes. This uh, this stone that uh, once it is, it is up and floating and makes you beefier. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Is this a? You say it can be hit. Yes. How hard is it? To uh, hit? Fairly hard to hit. Okay. Uh, it has an AC of twenty four. Oh. So um, oh, it's um, like it's it's yes, it's very hard to hit, but certainly not impossible. Mm. Um, so, uh, it, it, it can be hit. Um, let me see, and once it has been hit, um, I'm trying to find out. Ten hit points. Flute Punch, Ooh. thank you so much mm -hmm. for the follow, too. It has ten hit points, yes. so it's pretty instantaneously. Um, it, it also can be grabbed out of the air. Hmm. So there are several things that can happen to it. Um, and it hence it, the price being lower, despite its incredibly magical effect. Um, question about the magical effect. Yes. The, so we get a plus two to our con. Would that automatically make our hit points? Yeah, it certainly would. 
Sounds oh. more like a pro than a con. <gasps> Main four three two one. Thank you so much for the follow too. Oh my gosh, welcome on in. But uh, if if it does take that damage, uh, is it gone forever? Broken. Broken. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm. And um, how long does it last while it's up? Certainly. Um. Sort of just staves up from what I'm seeing. Um, oh, so we could like put it up and then it just kind of hangs out until we die again, or somebody takes it or breaks it. Uh -huh. I will admit I've been looking for a way to do specifically this, Man. but more permanent would be ideal. <laughs> but temporarily good. Yes, but also I am I am frontliner. Like, right. If that go. Oh, if it breaks if on. If it, it breaks, it breaks, and I imagine if we find anything that has you know breath. That could be a problem. Now it does sort of have to be focused on and hit. So like, okay. so, so say, for example, someone fireballs us, or uh, fireballs the person who has it. Does it break it? Or is it like immune to that area of effect damage and it just needs to be like pinpointed? I will have to do a little bit of further research, but from what I am reading here, a successful attack roll must be made against it. It is mm. not, it, it will avoid things like that. Cool. Okay, cool. okay. And what about if uh, someone tries to snatch it? Is that uh, Very contested? possible. Uh, it just has to make a check. Um, ah. So, because it is not, it rotates sort of around you, mm. uh, they will have to make, be it a very high dexterity check, but one nonetheless. Well, if I wanted to Have a lovely in. night, Artemis23. You take care of yourself. It's so good to have you. A bigger helmet. <laughs> and encompass the. It would go further away, <laughs> yeah. sort of. Uh, it, it sort of goes out from you, but I mean, points for ingenuity. Although I will say it will probably reflect very nicely on your armor, and she holds up this little pink purple stone and starts doing this into your armor a little bit. It will reflect so nicely. I am now a son. <laughs> I mean. What well, else is there, though? Before we oh, yes, make yes, any yes, like, yes. decisions, I mean, just... there's so many other things. Oh. Um, yeah, I, I think oh. I say that there's two other things. Th that's that's so a lot. That's, that's exciting. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. So, this one, I just think it's fun. And she pulls out the hilt of a sword. Okay. Just the cross guard hilt of a sword. Is there nothing there, else a, a, there? Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Give it a second. And she taps it against the edge of her desk as <gasps> a bright white light pops out of the front. Uh -huh. This is called a sunblade. A sunblade? Certainly. It does radiant damage. Um. <clears throat> Isn't that just fun? Oh, that's really cool. Can it be formed in a blade shape that's like a scimitar or just the one? Just, just the one. Oh, I can't. Is it like a long sword, short sword? Well, oh, I'm out. Hmm, but could I see that? But it could be really cool. <laughs> like, turn, turn off. I just want to see. She taps it again. Suddenly. I immediately just like take and look right down. <laughs> no! <laughs> and head back. <laughs> Uh, Welcome in, Grand Gremlin Lou. <laughs> <laughs> no. So, so it it does like long sword damage, but in radiant. Um, form? certainly. I believe it's all D eight. Um, let me double check. Sunblade. This oh. is a long sword. Like a long sword. Uh. Pan. Right. He uses. Uh, he uses silver. a glaive. Oh right. Um, he uses, I, I don't know when they're that big. If you are proficient with short swords, you can also use this mm. because it's very light. Mm. Mm. Martial and simple weapons. I can, theoretically. I'm only allowed to be proficient in a scimitar. I think you <laughs> then could. I think I, I mean, could. You, you need the magic. So it's also a uh, plus two weapon. <gasps> can you use it? I'm gonna check, <laughs> but it's a simple. A simple or martial. Yeah. Yeah. So. You need magic. I mean, you have magic. You have really. I don't magic. have magical damage though. <laughs> How oh much? Oh my is gosh. It? I know you are 
big on the. the I mean, I love my axe. But this but one's also This light. one does magic. It, it also has like you know you like your. Then you like your disco? It's like a glow stick. Yeah. <laughs> like poison. Yeah. We don't even know the price. Yeah. It's 12,000 gifts. Oh, <laughs> good lord. And um, is this we also really attunement? It also has the finesse property. I should have also mentioned that as well. I mean, so. there is nothing that I don't lack. Wait, I'm not sure that double negative made sense. <laughs> I have a lot of finesse. Um, question. <laughs> yes. What's our coffers looking like right now? <laughs> uh, let's find out. Uh, great question. Wait, so how much money? Uh, could you use short sword? I can only use a scimitar. Only scimitar. I was only trained in a scimitar. Oh. <laughs> Seems short-sighted. I mean... Well, you can take that up with my teachers at Strixhaven. You have well, exactly the 6,823 gold. Only let me How much? 6,823 gold. Oh, we're cash poor. Usually, yeah. uh... As a reminder, there. never any pressure with this, but as a reminder, how our gauntleteers gain gold is through tips. So <laughs> any bit tipped to our adventurers counts as one gold. Um, yeah. Never any pressure. Always appreciate. What's the final item, dare I ask? Oh, right. You know, Charlie, I do think you're all going to be quite excited about this one, though. <laughs> she pulls out a crystalline scimitar. <gasps> its entire blade and hilt looks to be made of a bright, shining white crystal. In fact, mm. very similar to her own scales. Katie M., thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. Ch Charlie literally, like, does a little in-place bunny hop. <laughs> Like, to try to see it a little bit closer. Let me get all the details of this pulled up. But I'm I know I was quite excited education. to see this. Well, I'm sure you would be. So, um, this is actually fashioned from uh, a bit of one of my ancestors. Uh, this is fashioned from the horn of a crystal dragon. <gasps> it takes an extra 1d8 radiant damage um, it has three charges. All right. Um, and it just deals 1d8 radiant damage, but it also has three charges that you can use to heal yourself. <gasps> it's equal to the damage it deals. All right. Um, you can also use it to shed some light. Are those charges rechargeable? Yes, at dawn. So for the purposes of the gold at dawn. Add to death if you if you want to put it in such a mm, honest oh, way. We're used to it. I mean, at this point, it's less morbid and more fact. I haven't counted how many times you've died, but it's been many. I don't want to know. So thank you. Um, this beautiful piece of art that's in front of me. I'm afraid to ask. Zarbi, oh my god. <laughs> thank you for the 1,234 bits. Oh, Thank I get you. it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's very kind, Z. You're fantastic. <laughs> um, but yes, um, it is fifteen thousand gold because it is um, quite nice. It is uh, yes, and it is a, a magical weapon. Then of this, it would be a magical weapon. Are these two weapons uh, attuning? Attuned? Oh, certainly. <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah. Cool. Oh. Um, wow. Oh gosh. So if we do real great this month, mm -hmm. we can get some pretty magical items to. Well, with ramp uh, us that up. particular generosity, you're now at eight eight thousand fifty seven gold. Yeah. Perhaps yeah. we uh -huh. set as goal this this scimitar, mm -hmm. and okay. if we are. If we have good months, we are able to get many. If we don't make that, then hopefully we are able to get Sunblade. Yeah. And if and not, if we're not, not able to get that, stone. yes, I I would hold off on stone for now. Like, I want to. I want us to get these more permanent, uh, frankly, more helpful things. That's fair. Yeah, it would be really nice to be able to do magical damage. Oh, I agree. I mean, I, I do magic and magical damage, just not my seven. 
much. That Twitchy kid, you have a great night. Thanks so much for popping in. You take care of yourself. And Elio, thank you for the follow. I appreciate you. Elio. Elio. What? What season? Who did? Elio. <laughs> but yes, um, so yeah, that, those that's are the offerings this month. I hope you like them. These good offerings. Oh, Great these offerings. Are, these are amazing. Thank. Um, wow. Okay. Lots of things to keep our eye on. Yeah. And as a reminder, every time there is a pun, I put a d6 in the punishment jar. It's so full <laughs> the dies are bouncing off of them. So Does that mean they they don't go in? I believe yeah, they don't that count. Things are dire. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> it doesn't matter at this point. No. <laughs> it's very true. It's it deadly. It doesn't matter at this it's point. Deadly it's deadly as it's in it. Welcome to the gauntlet where the dice are made up and the points don't matter <laughs> 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 until they kill said, us. Yeah. I believe we have said that. Yeah, this is basically whose line is it anyway? Dungeons and Dragons. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Now we're just trying to set a high score. <laughs> I want a room that's fiends from my head. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Mid drink. <laughs> it's real good. It was a fun though. So <laughs> it. it was a good pun, but still a pun. I really want this show now. Fiends from a hat. Mm -hmm. No, no just, just who's lying, but D and D oh. with our characters doing. Stu oh wait, no, that's every episode yeah. of okay. Gone. Yeah, next time we do say. a charity yeah. stream. Oh. Um, we get improv prompts from the audience. Oh my god. Um, all right. Well, it, that's okay. Great things to think about. Um, if, if, um, yeah, I would love to get that if we do end up getting it, but I totally get it if we don't end up getting it, so it's okay. Um, and then I just kind of turn around and like bunny skittle over to my, to my, um, little chest and stuff and grab out all the stuff to make a new snowball and give me an hour and start going well Charlie it's... begins to concentrate on their magic all of you oh, yeah. towards the back of the uh -huh. room here are we expecting guests I think we're the guests as the trap door in the bottom of the door of the sanctuary is shimmering a little bit from side to side. Oh yeah, we found the lock. You know that key? Right. Um, yeah, we put two and two together and I think, uh... Wanna open it? Open we should what? open it. Oh. I mean... Maybe. We went through we an awful lot to get those things. What's in the labyrinth? Are um, you asking Isri? Yeah, I will walk over and open it. <laughs> And um, I have absolutely no idea. Um, so, uh, 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 since uh, this will be your your first time in the labyrinth, I would assume you should probably wait for Charlie to finish. Oh, sure, the sure, spells. sure. Um, Mid key turn. Like, wait, if I open this, are we are we in or like? No, it just opens. You have to. Boop. Okay. Cool. But um. <laughs> so um, the labyrinth is a unique area underneath the gauntlet. It's sort of related to the choice rooms that you've been in before, oh. where you do not experience. Uh, experience. Um, however, there's sort of um, some prizes at the end mm. that you will receive. Uh, it's like the choice room, but more. Is it more secure than the choice room? It's as secure as anything in the gauntlet. So Brennis could be in there then. Technically. That's the, that's the name of the way the little girl right. Um, I have not heard anything from gauntlet up high, which I usually take as a good sign. I assume if they were more concerned, they would have told me. I mean, I, 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 I mean, I'll take your word for it, Isra. You seem trustworthy. It, give me a quick insight check on Isra here, just for the sake of. Surprisingly well, that's for my plus zero and 18. Um, Isra seems like she absolutely trusts the security and nature of the gauntlet and the safety of it, but she does seem a little bit flustered by the concept of something that is outside of gauntlet control. Cool. Um, and yeah. again, it's, uh, I want to be very, very clear that even the choice rooms, they're not necessarily something that I make. I just simply go and, and help operate. Um, so, uh, ah, but, um, 
I'm sure it'll be fine. You know, we've we've yeah. taken care of her a couple of times. Once Snowy's back, do we want to go down? Sounds like a fun experience. As you um, do, pop the door open. It is cavernous blackness and immediately reminds you of the blackness that you fall through when you enter new rooms of the gauntlet. Isri. Yes? Do you have any torches? Uh, sure. Oh, I, I can help with that as well. But the torches work. Sure, I can sell you some torches. Uh, I mean, how much do torches cost? I don't even that's know. That's a good question. I, that, I mean, that give would me be a quick I second. I will find out. <laughs> Certainly not much. Um, so I don't think I have any, and uh, believe it or not, uh, I cannot see in dark. You don't see. Um, it. It's a copper, <laughs> honestly. Um, because I, I don't something. really want to do any mass, I'm just going to give you one. <laughs> well, I'll take 12. <laughs> I thank you. Vociferous Crow, thank you so much for the Vociferous follow. Hey. Welcome on in. Honestly, it's it's easier to do to not do the math. You can just have a talk. That's fair. Uh, I, although I did say in jest, mightn't I get two uh, in you case sure. something decides to take? Considering everything. Thank you. Well, I think you can have two. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And as all of you wait for an hour, <laughs> and ten minutes, <laughs> crawling up out of the ash in front of Charlie, Snowball the Owl reappears. Snowy! Cool. The small white owl hops up into the air and flutters down oh. onto your shoulder. <laughs> and just nuzzles against the side. All of his little feathers just go. <laughs> I'm just gonna like open my eyes and look over and just see that the thing's open. I was like, oh, that's what you're talking about. Are we gonna do it? <laughs> I mean, one yeah. hoof is like ready to go down. <laughs> I'm for it. Why not? For science, right? I'm Professor, ready. Professor I'm, Breaker, it's a lab. I'm, I'm coming. I'm ready. And we don't get experience for this, no. but there's stuff. Stuff. I want oh, stuff. Let's find stuff. Hmm. I'm good at finding things. And honestly, uh, it's times like this that the best experience is the time you have there. Mm. Wow, that's, that's really, really beautiful. Profound. Besides, anything will beat those last few rooms we were in. So. Yeah, a little break mm. yeah. from that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm all for it. Let's do it. Cool. Um, normally, I would uh, just hop, but uh, I cannot see floor, so... Um, is there a ladder? It, or is it, it just a drop? Oh, it's just a drop. Am I? Oh, well, in that case. Cowabunk! Oh. <laughs> yep. All right. I'll just with blade, kind of, you know how statues uh -huh. stand? Mm -hmm. I do that, but just. <laughs> I'm jumping after, Stony. Yeah. Oh, I tuck my head wow. so my antlers or horns fit through. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it is fairly tight for your horns, yeah. <laughs> Everybody in? Thumbs up. As all of you jump in individually, you see each other next to all of you falling through the darkness, pinpricks of light as you fall into the labyrinth. Yeah. <gasps> oh my gosh! I'm so excited. Scroll in. You find yourself. Oh. oh. It's behaving a little bit funky here on Roll20, so begging your pardon, everybody in the audience. In a long hallway. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, looking at this, are these lanterns and holes? Give me a quick perception check. Or investigation, if you want to go look at it a little bit tighter. Um... I'll just do perception, because I, I wasn't really looking for it. Um, sure. That will be 11. Sure. There's a shiny slickness to the blackness along the floor. Oh. Maybe avoid that. Um, 
having not been in a place like this before, but knowing the gauntlet, there's like a 99.99% .99 chance there's traps in here. Um, can I get, I want to try to check for traps on the floor. Okay, give me a quick oh, investigation check. All right. Uh, 28. No, sorry, 26. 26, okay. Uh, looking at the floor, the floor is made of finely wrought hardwood. Intricate designs carved along the entire pathway before you. There are many nooks and crannies in which one could perceptively have put in a trap. And a ball has given Charlie a random potion as you're standing there looking down at the ground. Whoop. Potion appears in your hand. Okay. Uh, um, I think the floor gives potions. Um, so there, you said there's nooks and crannies. Many, but alternatively, it it's also again it's just so fine. At the very least, immediately in the vicinity that's right here in front of you, you do not see any traps. You feel incredibly confident in that with that high of a roll. Right. And that's just within like the ten foot around me, or yeah, I would say like with again with that high of a roll, I'll say twenty feet in front of you on the floor, you see no traps. All right. Well, the floor isn't trapped up to twenty feet ahead of us. I can't really see beyond that, but. And what are these, these uh, hanging from the walls again? They're large lanterns. The fire that burns inside them is almost white and incredibly bright. I would like to uh, make my way up to this first one and just kind of looking under it. Uh, and as I'm looking at it, I'm just going to say, uh, li listen, I will admit, um, I the gauntlet that we've been doing is really what uh, my specialty is. You don't say. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know how much help I'm going to be looking at these things. Um, however, I have learned through my life, if you need me to do something, you point me to it, and I will mm -hmm. do it. Are you so, standing directly underneath the lamp? Uh, I, well, it, I was going to come up to it, and I probably would have like, done that, but I don't think I would have stood under and looked up. Okay. All right. As you get up close to it, mm -hmm. I am going to need a dexterity saving throw. Mm -hmm. As you do see the bottom of it drop out. As okay. I was saying, uh, if you point me in direction... <laughs> Don't! <laughs> <laughs> That'll be an 18. You duck out of the way in time. You take no damage. Um, alright. Based yep. off of Stoney's perception, you're great. <laughs> Avoidance? <laughs> yep. Yeah, I mean. As a bright white beam of flame. <laughs> so floor good, lamps bad. Yeah, stay away from the lamps. Bardic Dice, thank you so much for the raid. Oh my gosh, Hello. so many raids tonight. Thank you so yeah, much for trusting four. us with your community. Oh my, gosh. oh my gosh. What's that? The Door Raiders. Tell us a little bit more about your stream. What were you up to? What was happening? Give yourself a little bit of self-promo in chat. If you need to pop out, obviously take care of yourself. This is the Adventurer's Pack, and this show tonight is the Gauntlet. Yes. Audience interactive Dungeons and Dragons, normally combat chaos, but tonight our players have entered the labyrinth. A creepy, crawly, mysterious, and bizarre <laughs> area underneath the gauntlet itself. It does have some unique rules, so if you want to hate. Um, Exclamation point rules to find out a little bit more. Looks like you're playing some D&D. &D. Be sure to tell us all about it. All right. So avoid the lamps. So stay in center? Uh, yeah, I mean, based off of the area we're at, the center's oh, fine. I can I check again in 20 feet. I will also say I think people fast on feet would be good for this one. Uh, I think what I are, got lucky. Oh, what are you talking about? <laughs> fast? Hmm. Cool. Well, agile. All right. I'm agile. Yeah. No, I think I think we're pretty good crew. Um, this goo mm -hmm. ooze. Mm -hmm. I would like to get up closer to it. Um, okay. Yeah, and. While I do that, 
uh, do magical awareness. Use use a use of that. Okay. Um, how far is the radius on magical 30, awareness? 60 feet. 36 feet. <laughs> um, 60 feet. The lamps around you all appear to be magical. Do you know what school based on mm-hmm. that? Conjuration. All right. Well, they're very magical. Conjuration. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I assume it's, you conjure stuff. Yeah. Crater. Cool. Like snowy. Like, like big pits yeah. in the floor. Yeah, like snowy. Cool. Um, but the goo doesn't seem magical. Yeah, I, I I would still maybe step over it if you can, but from what I've seen, like, I just did an investigation search on this that 20 feet, which includes the goo, and nothing hit with the goo. I will say, for the sake of knowing where you are, feel free to actually move your minis within the room. Give me um, a little bit of a better view of I what we're doing. I'm, I was here. Oh. Okay. Um, if it is it black goo, we used uh, something similar to that uh, for torches back home. Hmm. Maybe is flammable? Oh! So, Could be. no flames near it, probably. Um, well, well maybe, maybe we do at it. <laughs> uh, no, I, I think we... Uh, um, I think we're trying to get through this to figure out what's on the other side of the hallway. I will hop over the just, ooze. Just stay away okay. from the lamp. With your and your jump, you can just do yeah. That. yeah. Um, and kind of in a <laughs> diagonal pattern. Get up to here with 35 feet of my movement. And I okay. did not go under the lamp. I went across the goo through that little corridor of clean ground. Okay, absolutely. Do I hear anything besides us in here? Give me a quick perception check. Uh, Plus a what, I think it's a four. Uh, 18. No, no, it is very quiet. You hear the flickering of the lamps. Okay. But that's about it. Um, y'all know I can send Snowy ahead and see what Snowy sees, right? Bring them along. That's a good call. I mean, it is door at the end of hallway. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, just if we do have a problem with, we don't want to, yeah, know what's on the other side. Because I, I believe I can see what Snowy sees as well right now. So. That's fair. All right. Um, I'm going to... Can I hop to there? Uh, what's your strength score? 10. 10? No, 8. 8. Uh, you're going to need to move back. And let me get my let me grab my ruler. Cuz you can jump equal to your strength mod no, uh, score with a long jump. So, I can jump 5 feet. Yeah. Okay, so back up 5 feet and then and run. Then and then hop the five feet. Exactly. Okay. Um, so that was five, 10, 15. Okay. And we're not in initiative at the moment. 30. For once. And I'm not, <laughs> um, yeah, since we're not in initiative, I'm just gonna keep walking then. Okay. How, uh, how was your uh, jump when not, you know, using your rabbit? Yeah, I mean, well, let's just say it's better if I put a little spring behind it. Do you, do you, want, uh, do you want up? Because I can, this is nothing for me. <laughs> I mean, you always have been the pioneer of science. Your uh, best implements are your boots, so I trust that. All right. Um, I will be the mount. I guess. Okay. Uh, yeah. And yeah, I will hop, 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 up. and just leap, leap on over. Okay. And move up here. Cool. So Sn- snowball's on my shoulder, so there's not actually somebody right there. I just. Ten. Since we're not an initiative, can we just keep walking through then? Yeah, I can. Uh, let's s- let's everyone let's do like a walk into town. Yeah, no, that was what I was wondering. Yeah, I'm gonna like, a soft the, initiative. I can yeah. get up here with 50 feet of my movement again, doing the serpentine. <laughs> you know what? Hopping over stuff. Because there's so many here right around this, and we're doing some serpentine. I am gonna start making for asking for dex checks. Cool. Uh, oh, that's a save. Everybody move quick as I. Cast a bless on the party, just on the three of y'all. Mm. Okay. Cool. Um, How long does that last? A minute? One minute. Okay. Yeah. Dex check. 
Um, acrobatics. Or... Yeah, we'll make this acrobatics. That's okay. Okay, that's a 10. That's a 10? <laughs> okay, I will say. Oh, uh, attack will save throw. Yeah. Right. yeah. Uh, the one that is right behind you, right there, your hoof catches. Oh! And you realize that this is slick oh. oil. Slippery. And you slide and slam into the wall here. You okay, Fionn? You are knocked underneath <laughs> the lamp. <laughs> I need another deck save, this time at disadvantage. This uh, is a save. straight roll. Ah, uh, straight roll, yep. You got it, and add the d4, because this time this is a deck save. Uh... <laughs> With style. 29. 29? No, 23. <laughs> you Wrong. do manage to roll out of the way. However, this one is directly over the pitch, and all of it catches a flame. Ah! Give me another deck save. <laughs> Straight roll with the Straight. d4. Oh. Yeah, with the blues. <laughs> That's a six. <laughs> You take 10 points of fire damage. I'm on fire. And you are on fire. <laughs> Doesn't Would look like it for me. You are a disco inferno. Six. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really burning up the dance floor. Six. I'm running out. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm make you keep goal. saying you're it running out, but like. It is the goal now, like, is to have you run out. I now feel like, like maybe you're not, because you keep adding more. <laughs> There's not many. Um, so I'll use an action to put myself out. <laughs> okay, you can absolutely do that. Because, ow. If you want to roll yourself out. Yeah, I'll roll out. That's totally fine. Wherever, here, whatever gets me out of the flames. Yeah. Um, oh hey, the it's flammable. However, I will say, <laughs> and I'll make a drawing around this because it's a part of the map, it does <laughs> evaporate. Great. Oh. Oh, all right. Mm. Uh, I'm gonna, from Stonebreaker's back, just fire off a firebolt at uh, probably the this one here. <laughs> Why? Not, not too close to Fiat. Maybe we could just clear the way and not have to deal with any of this. Okay. We think it's good thinking. <laughs> Sorry in advance if it backfires on you. Well, <laughs> I'm aware. All right. Um. The one that's really close to their fan. You know what? Give me a quick deck save, but this time just a straight save. But I can see it. Oh yeah, so it's an advantage because. And with the bless. Oh my gosh. And bless with the bless, absolutely. It's not letting me draw for some reason. A Twenty-two. Yeah, it's. You're totally fine. Now you're on fire. Is that <sighs> one gone? Breaking a sweat. That one's gone. So the two spots that are directly underneath Theon are gone. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's not letting me draw for some reason. My screen got a little bit funky. I got you. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Vandalism. Thank you, Scott. <laughs> I will not abuse I, this power. <laughs> I feel a little too close to this one to do the same on this one. So I'm just going to do what I did before, which was go five feet back to jump over. Wait, wait, okay. Five feet to jump there. Real quick, just because you are surrounded with so many of them, give me a quick acrobatics check. Twenty, uh, seven, no, eighteen plus nine. You are superlatively fucking. <laughs> um, all right, and then that's. 20. This is gone. Mm-hmm. Okay. I say, when moving around the lamps, do me a favor and just move yourself. Yeah, I'm moving myself. Bit bit I'm doing it one by one, so you yep. can kind of tell where I'm going close in terms yeah. of close by. All right, um, that's my 30 feet, and Snowy's, Snowy's literally just like flying in the sky, like kind I will of say, like all yeah. the way over here, and is just kind of chilling, waiting. <laughs> there is room for Snowball to fly over the lanterns. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Not probably for one of you, but for Snowball, there's room. Yeah, Snowy's just flying at the end, and just waiting. Okay. All right, well, I'll come up to about here before I start you know, running. Yeah. And then leap, whoop. Oh, we're just going for it. Oh. I will say, give me 
I can leap like 20 feet. <laughs> okay, I'll allow it. You have a ridiculous <laughs> amount of leaping. 10 lords are leaping. Cool. Um, then I will come up next to Snowball. Snowball lands on your horns. Uh, give me a, because there's that pitch that's right there, do me a favor, give me a quick uh, acrobatics check just for the sake of it. That's a 19. Completely fine. Cool. Um, hey, we're at a door. Mm hmm. Is there a latch? There is, absolutely. In fact, there's a very large, scroll up for the audience, a very large, ornate latch. What does a store look like? Sure. Uh, it is got this very fine looking uh, <clears throat> framework. It's very ornate, very detailed, a lot of very intricate metal work done on it. Uh, no shapes in particular. They, they appear to be more organic swirls. If you had to guess, it would probably be more inspired by plant life and nature. Cool. Um, this place, they've really pulled out all the stops. This is some nice work. Do you, should I open the door? Want to wait for the rest of Welcome us? In, Zen, I you thought. know, I just figure you're like six seconds behind me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. go ahead and open the door. Um, because there's pitch next to you. I don't think yeah. there's room for all of us to be at the door. I'll start to see if I can open the door, if it's unlocked. Uh, it is unlocked. You pull onto it. Mm -hmm. mm, I will say you are kind of in the way of it right now. It is a I will open vastly it enormous door. As I, or walk as I open it. I don't know where that would take me. Do me a favor, give me another acrobatics check to make sure that mm. you don't, it goes, it opens towards you. Make sure you don't fall into the pitch 15. again. 15. You've got it. You do not, in fact, fall into the pitch. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, so I guess I'm like, what, back here-ish? Yeah, but for door. the sake of it, if you want to keep yourself at the door because you can pass yeah, through. Yeah, true. It. Doors open. All right, coming over. Do Does you it want smell? To I don't know why that was the <laughs> first question. Does it smell? Does it smell, like, opening the door, does it smell different? You do feel a whoosh of air. Yeah. As the door opens. It does smell fresh. Fresh, like fresh outside, fresh room. Just room. Okay. Yeah, it definitely smells like fresh room. <laughs> like, does it smell? Can we Why? see In, through the door or is it just black? Uh, it does appear to be dark beyond the door, but you do see the faint outline of a room. You can see the faint outline of furniture, a desk, a chair, a few other things. Well, hey, uh, let's go in. Um, I'm gonna cast Dancing Lights and send them in. Okay. As you do, very, you see, again, it's small balls of light, but you do see the outlines of a desk, um, a large window at the other side, some furniture. You see dust motes floating through the air. I'm uh, gonna reach down and What's a good thing to, to light up, Stony? So you can see, and in case it gets dark. Oh, um. And that way we can save the torches. Sword? Let's try. <gasps> Never done this before, but uh, theoretically, touch the sword and hopefully it'll last. <laughs> There's this sh sound of air moving out of the way as it heats up a little bit as Stonebreaker's sword emits a bright yellow-white light. Hi, that's a cool right. trick. Delightful. Going in? <laughs> I'm already in here. <laughs> Wasn't sure it would work, it's a heavy weapon. Grand Gremlin Lou, what a good time to join. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you so much for, it looked like you came in early. Thank you so much for the follow. You have a great night tonight, okay? Take care, so good to have you. <laughs> but yes, I'll I follow. love these names. Yeah. Yeah. I know okay. a good rumor. I'm pretend I'm gone. That's two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At this point. That wasn't a fun, that was just uh, mm. me finishing in the train of thought. All right. <laughs> As all of you go through, in the next room, you're all standing there, 
surrounded by the light of Stonebreaker's sword, the dancing light. And as you're standing there, you feel the whole floor <laughs> and fall sideways as all of you find yourself falling once again. I can just... <laughs> yeah, you find yourself falling and you recognize this feeling as falling once again through the gauntlet. What? What? <gasps> All right. Oh, my apologies, apparently. Oh, yep, there you are. As you all land once again in Isri's nursery. Brennis? Brennis' uh, nursery? Sorry, Brennis' nursery, my apologies. Too many NPCs, what, what? The twist. <laughs> <laughs> um. Brennis herself is sat on the couch. She's a small child. I really cannot stress this enough. Sure. And she sat in the couch all slid down on side of it, like her legs dangling, her head back. Uh, oh, hey! Vaguely spinning. Uh. Hey, Brennis. <gasps> Hi. So, hey, huh. you know, we don't get to spend much time together. No, not enough. Uh, I will, her feet are just dangling wildly. I will sit on the couch next to her. So, hey, Brennis. Mm -hmm. Do you mind if I ask, uh, where do you think you are? Where where are we right now? I'm in my room. I'm bored. And yeah. I was bored, and I felt you were all coming nearby, and I'm so bored, and you were doing boring things, so I wanted you to come play with me. Uh, oh, wait, you brought mm -hmm. us here. Mm-hmm. You can, you can, how did you, it's kind of, I didn't think I could. I just thought really, really hard about you. And then you were here. So I think I brought you. Why? But now it can be not so bored. Mm hmm. Here, Brennan. Little one. Oh. Hmm. That is quite rude. Me. Besides, you're just gonna do a stupid, boring room. But you just take us from this thing that we are doing and bring us here against our will. You could potentially ask. <sighs> Would you pretty please play with me? I am not feeling the need to. Also, you're not supposed to be here. I'm in my room. I think to be in my room. We're not supposed to be here. Not the other way around. The, sure, sure. Um, what game did you have in mind this time, Brennis? Well, there's lots of games we could play if you want to. Uh, well, it depends on the game. You don't always play very nice. We also have a timetable. We do need to get back to something. You notice Brennis is starting to look, you know that small child, like <laughs> hyper brow furrow? She is starting to look frustrated. Cool. Why it's just slunk down in the saddle as low as he can get, <laughs> trying to avoid being seen. I'm gonna start juggling the dancing lights in front of me so it looks like I like, just to be like, look, follow the pretty lights. You know, like, toss them towards her. I mean, that's a fun trick, but like my mom can do that trick. Are you allowed out of your room, Problem. Brennis? No. Wouldn't it just be so fun if you snuck out? I can't. I'm sh oh, I'm sure you could if you just followed us to this door over over yonder. I can't. You're trying to trick me. Well, you tricked us into being here, so fair is but fair. I wanted you to have fun. We were having fun. Okay, what's your definition of fun? 
Is it you dolls? Fun. Is it boring? I've got a good game. I've got a better game than the one you were playing anyway. My game is better in the stupid game you were playing. It's stupid and I can't even go play it anyway. They won't let me go play your game and it's stupid. What I've is got it a much so we better can game. Leave. <laughs> My game is so much better. You don't even know. Mm -hmm. do, do you want to play the gauntlet? I'm sure you'd have fun. There was a dinosaur. I can't play the gauntlet. But I can play with you. Oh, I hate that. Mm. Um. I can take you where I want. Yeah. And just like that, boom, <laughs> the world goes dark. Uh-oh. You don't oh. feel yourself falling so much as it's just like the light. Chukum. <laughs> went out. Hey, Brennis. Did you do that? I don't like Is this. my sword doing anything to this? It seems like you're surrounded by blackness. Good. But, as it comes to, oh. Oh. you find yourself <laughs> sat. Ah, oh, shoot. And ladder. At a giant playing board. So. You no longer see Brennis. However, you do from above here. See? This is my game. It is better than your stupid gauntlet. My game's fun. How do we play your game? Okay, here. And you see, chucked down, you realize you see this enormous hand high above no. you. And she chucks down a piece of paper, fairly normal sized piece of paper, down to you. And all of you receive Thanks. slides oh and gosh. climbers. The rules for Brennis is slides and climbers. Oh my god. <laughs> I was gonna print it off, but the printer wasn't working. Um <laughs> stars all reach square hundred again. Uh, TM, let me TM, know, TM. audience, if you can see them. Okay. Yeah, yeah, this is uh Brennis's slides and climbers. Mm -hmm. Uh <laughs> You know, I literally was just asking Isri. About board games? About Brennis, oh, Wyatt. Right. Sorry, sorry. I did not like the last time I met her. I really wanted to punch that little kid's face. This is a spoiled child. So exactly. it was okay that I wanted to punch her face. Yes. Oh, we all do. It's more than a child. I almost did. Whoever it is, they're spoiled. All right. I'll here, let me, uh, let me uh, get this zoomed in a little bit for the audience, everyone here. Hold on one quick yeah. second. Oh, oh my god, this is so Slides. fun. Okay. <laughs> Alright, hold on, let me actually make it bigger. I'm gonna use my big D20 like I'm small. Can I with the star? There we go. Star. And you know, let me Equal special. scoot it over here as well. Okay, now you can kind of see the board underneath, but Three, there you go. Six All right. stars. So, and I'll scroll down a little bit for the audience as well as we get there. Okay. Okay. Oh. Renaissance Slides and Climbers, to read the rule, for those who are listening in. The object of the game. The object of the game is for the players to earn six stars and reach square 100. To play, everyone roll initiative. At the beginning of their turn, everyone rolls a d6. Move one square for each number rolled. You can add or subtract adrenaline to these rolls. Uh -huh. Climbers, if you land on a square at the bottom of the climber, for example on square four, you must move up to a square to square 14 at the top of that climber. Climbers lead up only. Slides, if you land on a picture square at the top of a slide, for example on square 49, you must move down to picture square 11 at the bottom of that slide. Slides lead down only. Two or more players may stop on any square at the same time if their moves happen to land them there. If you land on a square with a star, a special room is entered. At the end of the special room, you will receive a gold star. I do like a gold star. I do too. All right. Hmm. Win the game. Boy. All six stars must be brought to level 100. If a character with a gold star does not return next week, the star is dropped at square 50 and will be picked up by landing or passing over the square. If a player lands at 100 without all of the stars being present, they can stay at 100 and not enter any special rooms or fall back to square one. 
If a player falls back to square one, they lose half of their current health. All right. This is awesome. So, Brennis. Ha! Huh? Where are we right now? You're on my game. Are we little? I mean, I can see you. You're gonna not crush us, right? That would be fun. I want you to play with me. Well, why aren't you down here with us? If you really wanted to play with us. Because this isn't about me. This is about you and your stupid gauntlet. It was a stupid, boring game. This is a more fun game for you to play. A board game? Mm. Mm. Really? <laughs> it is, it I is. mean, literally, why is <laughs> Just curious to help himself. You're complaining. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Brennis. Cool. All right, Brennis. We'll play your board game thing, and when we're done, you'll let us go? Uh-huh. You promise? Oh, yeah. Hold on. Every time we play the game with you, Brennis, the gold star we get is a, a tantr temper tantrum when we try to leave. It's okay. You'll play with me. It'll be fun. Yeah, yeah but, but what well, happens when we're done playing with you? Exactly. I'll put you back. I, pr I promise. I'll put you back. Because this is, I, I'm just saying I can build it better. Will you put us back without throwing a fit? Yeah, will mm. you Will you be good about it? Will you be a good girl? I'll be so good. Yeah? No No. No tears, no temper? I'll be so good. Ah. Okay, you better, because if you don't, that is not how you make friends. That yeah, is how not. you lose friends, and you stay alone forever. And it's you're true. very close to losing friends because of the last few times you've let, had a temper tantrum. Remind you me never to lost disappoint Stonebreaker. <laughs> I'm not her friend. Me? No, I Either. was her friend when we first met you. Mm -hmm. And we then I wasn't, be and because of the way you acted. Uh, and as that happens, you actually real, you see a shadow move off of a light in front of you. And you're... Did we get put in a box? A freaking board game box? Cool. Well, yeah, let's, just, yeah, let's just get out let's of here. Let's climb. All right. Let's go get some stairs. Stairs. Yep, yeah, we'll get our steps on. All the right, everyone. Let's roll initiative. Initiative. <laughs> what is oh, oh I get. I managed to initiative. <laughs> It didn't matter. All right. The bless or is the bless gone at this point? Oh, it's gone. Yeah, for okay. sure. Yeah. All right. Stonebreaker. Uh, that will be a 10. All right. Charlie? 12. Fion? A cool 8. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> 11. All right. So actually, we're, we're, the order that we're doing this. So right. that's Wyatt. And then, you got a 10? So Stonebreaker. We're nice and clumped in that. I say Charlie uh, and then Fionn, right? Mm hmm Yeah. Add a 12. Oh, wait, no. So it's uh, Charlie, Wyatt, Stonebreaker, Fionn. That sounds right. OK. Bringing up the V here, even though I had advantage on that roll. I rolled a four. Charlie. Oh, a six. Yes. You may roll a d6. All right. Um, you know what? Because we're in a crazy ethereal place, I'll roll my ethereal time. Uh, I rolled a three. Okay. You this may move so yourself meta. to square three. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> oh, no, that's... Oh, let me get... Uh, well, for the sake of this, I will say I'm not going to pull up the snowball token, but no snowballs on your shoulder. I assume as much. Okay. All right. That brings us then to... And as a reminder, Charlie has no adrenaline surge. Fionn has one. Stonebreaker has two. Wyatt has three. You may add or subtract these to your rolls. I will say, if you are standing on the same square as each other, or adjacent, you can touch each other. Okay. And you mean the big square? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The big squares have enough space for all of you to stand on. Cool. But I Great. will allow you to move around thusly. Okay. All right. That then will bring us to Wyatt. D6? Mm-hmm. That's a six. Okay. Move yourself six. All right. And that's the bottom of the slide I'd be parking on, right? So I'm okay yes, there? Yes. That's all correct. Right. The slides always go down. So far, so good. Although this is not a slide. This is a, um, shoot. This is, no, no. it's a slides and climbers. It's slide. Sl yeah. Slides and climbers, yeah. It's a slide and climbers. It's climb. not a shoot. Yeah, it's, it's not okay, a shoot, it's it a slide. slide. Oh, my. All right. What, shoot me. 
really have to go buy more d6s. Okay. <laughs> All right. Xanabug has given Charlie an adrenaline surge, giving you Thank one. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Stonebreaker, it's your turn. Uh, that is going to take me to four. Okay. And I will take the letter to get up to 14 and grab the star. Yes. Okay. And as you do, as you reach out to grab it, however, mm -hmm. you feel the board fall out from underneath you. And that is where we are going to begin next week's episode. Oh, no. oh. Holy moly. Joke's on you, suckers. I'm off next week. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all, everyone, so much for being here at The Gauntlet, Audience Interactive Dungeons and Dragons, Combat Chaos mostly, except for occasionally when you play children's board games. Um, <laughs> oh if you're new here, head on over to our Discord. Our Discord is where you're gonna get all the announcements about what's happening next when we go live. If you subscribe tonight, you get a whole slew of benefits. So you get access to all of the maps that you've seen tonight. You get access to special chat with us, a whole bunch of other stuff. You can also support us at Patreon. If you support us over at Patreon, you get the exact same perks as you would subscribing. You can also subscribe to us on stream loots if you want to participate wow. with us that way. We are always so grateful for everyone who participates with us. You quite literally keep the lights on and we're incredibly grateful for you. Thank you so, 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 so much. If you've been enjoying this and you want to see a little bit more, it's as simple as giving us a follow. We would absolutely love to have you. The next time we're going to be live on this channel is going to be Sunday at 11 a.m. Scott, Josh, and I will be playing more Vulcanoids as the brothers Steve, uh, getting into all kinds of drilling shenaniganery. It's a really delightful time, so please go check us out. We just the got machine guns and hand cannons. We did. What? <laughs> we absolutely did. Um, we uh, will be returning with the gauntlet next week at 7 p.m. Pacific. The cast is rotational, so it's a whole bunch of fun. Hey. Um, so definitely come check it out as we continue into our first labyrinth, <gasps> which is very exciting. Wow, we're very, very excited. Um, <sighs> Oh, go check out Cantrip Candles. Oh my gosh, the amazing sponsor of season two of The Gauntlet, Cantrip Candles. Please go check them out. They're absolutely amazing. We adore them with all of our hearts, and we're so very grateful that they want to hang out with some cool cool cats like us. So thank you so much. Please go check them out. They're amazing. Um, you folks take care. Tell your friends. We look yeah. forward to seeing you next week. Have an amazing night. We'll see you soon. Bye, y'all. Bye, everybody.